Octavio's puppet show is about to start at any minute. The stage is set and the lights are out. It'll be here in a moment. Turn that frown upside down. You don't need that where we're going. Welcome to the greatest puppet show in all the planets. I was wondering when you guys would stray back, I mean, come back to the light. Why is it so dark in here? After straying from the light for so long, right? I was wondering, hmm. I noticed something interesting in chat. You guys have started giving me tickets again. Thank you. Thank you for buying tickets after, what was it? I think it was like three long weeks of people not buying tickets to the puppet show. You think I noticed? You think I noticed? I did not, you think I did not notice? I mean, damn, my brain is, my brain is pretty slow right now, bro. <laughs> my brain is pretty slow. Because this music in the background right now is just so relaxing. It's the refined self audio. But hey, what's going on? Welcome. Oh, more tickets. More tickets. Yes, 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 yes. We are going to have a ticket emote soon. Don't worry. I'm still working on that. <laughs> still working on it. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. We'll see what's up. Um, I still need a few more ideas for emotes. So if you guys have any more cool ideas, I think I saw, I already saw the hey emote, the octopotty emote. Yes, I saw the octopotty this morning. I saw the, the laugh emote because I don't have a laugh emote. Would you, would you look at that? What else do I need? Um, ticket, hey, laugh, octopotty, omen. Yes, omen. Hey, Kyoko Bear, thanks so much for joining the puppet collection. Yes, we got the... We wheeze? I guess we need a wheeze emote? Sure. Oleluya, omen, oleluya. What if I literally just an omen? Like the word. Yo, what's going on? What's with these supers? Uh, bunny hugger, good time zones, Octavio. I just woke up and it's 4 a.m. in my time zone. How's your day going? My day has been going great. Actually, my day has been pretty weird. These past one day for me. Today and yesterday. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But Hajime, welcome back. How was your day off? Give you a chase smooch on the hand with my internal occipital protuberance. Wow. Just as your god, I mean, your puppeteer has intended. Also, RKK, thanks so much for the super as well. Thank you. Thank you. The bussy emote? You're right. You're right. A puppet. Oh, when we finally get our octopussy design. I'm still working on that. We're still talking about that. Uh, we're gonna have, I guess we're gonna have like the Octoposse emotes as well, right? It's gonna be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I really want the Octoposse design to be so that you can, you guys can design your own, uh, puppet as well. In the, in the image of the Octoposse. Right? So, in the stream, we're gonna have like a prime Octo, prime member of the Octoposse. And that's the design that I'm gonna have. Then you guys can, kind of alter it based on what you like, you know, your likes and needs and interests and stuff. Hey, also, everybody here in chat, once again, we're doing the whole thing again. How fast can you shat? As in shat, the past tense of shot. <laughs> Let's see, uh, welcome to the stream, Chucko, Milk Tea. Welcome, Genie, Picomo, hello, how are you? Um, Arbapot, what's going on? Ha Han Tai. What's going on as well? Iriha, how are you? Mikaze, what's going on? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 911, whoa, hello to you. Hope you're doing great today. Elkids, Ekadulas, Ekadulas, Ekadulas. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. A few more, three more, three more. Jenny, 
Thank you. Thank you for joining the show. Rabbit2842, spaced out pup. What's going on? Oh, spaced out pup. A spaced out pup. And, uh, yes, though. Yes, though. Kite Mint C. See, I can, I can read all of your names. Easy peasy. We have come such a long way, everybody. And it's so crazy. It's so crazy seeing just all green and just very few. Very few um, non-members here. Dark Row, I see you. Nacho, see? See, all of you are welcome. All of you are welcome. There's so much members. I, I'm just realizing so many, so many members. But hey, welcome everybody. Speaking of memberships, um, for the non-members of the Puppet Collection, something will be coming out. And maybe, I think the appropriate tier membership peoples have seen this very thing that's about to come out this week. But for the rest of you, it's gonna come out soon. It's a pretty cool thing. Also, Hajime, thanks so much for the gifted. Whoever you gifted, thank Hajime. Blue River Bay, and I see you. <laughs> so something pretty cool, something pretty nice. Um, also, you saw. Uh, also, you saw yesterday. I tweeted that I sent over the vocals for my next cover over to the mixer yeah well te I, I technically didn't say it but the the screenshot I shared on Twitter basically means it's done the recording is done and we are officially cooking we're cooking it took a while it took a while to to do just because of the craziness of holidays and you know ever people are not at work during holidays and stuff like that so it just it took a while. Um, but my goal really isn't to release a cover every month. My goal is to release a cover when it feels when it feels good to release one. <laughs> I guess. Also, Crestia, thank for gifting uh, membership. Also, Zunz, uh, Zunz bless. Thanks so much for gifting too. Looking forward to it. Nice gifts, nice gifts. Yes. Uh, thank you for sniping. <laughs> sniping the people here <clears throat> but all the new members check out the community tab there might be some cool things that you have yet to see and will now see right <clears throat> also check out the schedule there's some membership stuff coming up all right <clears throat> um can we have a hashtag for showing merch oh actually how does that work a hashtag for show like a hashtag for showing merch specifically for me octavio we can't we can do that yeah um, someone mentioned a hashtag for merch, a hashtag for faux photos, photography, in-game photography, or even just IRL photography. Then also a hashtag for, um, stories, like, um, fanfics, I guess. Uh, I did, I did say that to the boys and they're okay with it. Hashtag our misadventures, but I haven't had it legal checked first. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have all that legal check first, then we're just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna put that out on Twitter for you guys to post under in. Okay? Yeah? We're gonna see. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um Mari, oh my god, new cover release from the vault. Looking Yes, from the vault! Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! So I'm gonna try for this stream, Octoposse, I'm gonna try and not speak way too loud. As like like in lethal company or stuff like that because i'm trying to <clears throat> i'm trying to take care of my voice a little more um <clears throat> because yesterday i did record right i did record the vocals and that song is just way too difficult it was difficult as heck to record i started recording like 6 a.m right 6 a.m <laughs> take care of that vocal cord dusty oh you know it the bussy let's go uh, 6 a.m. until I think 12, so six hours. Though it's not, I didn't record for that the whole six hours, but from 6 a.m. to like 7, 7:30, I was just trying to wake my voice up. I was just doing exercises, voice exercises, and actual exercises <laughs> to get the blood pumping. You know, get the blood pumping. Ah, so that was a full a long time of recording, which is definitely going to be worth it, hopefully. Then after that, I had to touch some sand. I got home around 2 a.m. <laughs> so it's it's a, it's a very it's a very jam-packed 
quote unquote rest day. I need I need like a rest day, like a an actual day where I just do nothing. I need something like that. Yeah, because for two months now I did I haven't had that yet. Aside from the holidays, at least we had the holidays, right? But even during holidays, you do you still do a lot of things. <laughs> So maybe I'll have the rest days be Mondays or something like that. Um, but not next Monday. Like I told you guys. I told you during my last Octox with Octavio. The first Octox with Octavio. Also, Evie, welcome to the Sock Puppets. Welcome. That this coming Monday is going to be something special. And I need you to look out for it. Or that's something special this coming Monday. Monday JST. And I guess Sunday... For the rest of the peeps? For the other Octazone? Yeah, 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 yeah. So Monday. <laughs> um, my manager looked at the thing I scheduled again. And he was like, really? Are you sure that you're going to do this? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> so look out for that. But for now... Also, I saw you guys in pre-chat earlier. Um, if you guys don't know, to, to the guys who come in here like five minutes later or 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour later, a, a lot of interesting things happen in pre-chat. And... <sighs> but you know what? You know what? I, I see all of the conversations. But once again, the reason why... Oct Talks with Octavio, my new show, my new, my new Zatadan show, exists, is for us to discuss all these things. So again, we got a sub member submitted questions and so actually let me let me talk about that a little bit, right? Because um for those who don't know, for those who haven't seen the last Oct Talks with Octavio, we have member submitted questions that we discuss, right? We talk about. And the questions can be literally anything. Anything under the sun. It doesn't even have to be about me. Here's here's one thing I want you guys also to submit in the community tab. Um, like for example, maybe there's something happening with you, right? Maybe you have uh, a disagreement with a coworker or a relative or something like that. Tell tell a little story, then we can talk about it. You know, if you need advice. For for your love life, for your work life, for your death life, for life and death, for your death. Submit it there. Literally anything. Um, I noticed that most of the questions are about me, and eventually I'm gonna run out of anything. So I I I also want to see questions and submissions about you guys. Okay, about you. Yeah. So if you if you're feeling anything, if you have a, a dilemma, a conundrum that we need answered, let's go. Let's go talk about it during Oct Talks with Octavio. And I swore to myself, uh, Evie, wait, are you Evie Theron? Got bonked Whitey Jail by Susan for cheering the stars again, boys, too hard. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for the for the super. What the heck, Evie? Are you okay? Nani, nani. Oh. I hope you get out of jail soon. Friend, where did you get this info? Random Octopod. An anime boy. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Dear Tavi, yes. I wanted to name my show Tavi Talks, but it's too it's too similar to Tenga Talk, so um Oct Talks. Let's sure. Let's just let's keep the O stuff going. Uh but guys, I swore I swore to myself the reason why we had the Oct Talks with Octavio is so I can Dial dial down a little bit of my pre-game Zatunans. But here we are. Here we are. 22 minutes later. I feel like I barely talked about anything. But it's already been 22 minutes. What the heck? And now I see super chats and gifted memberships. And we need to extend it. <laughs> I'm excited to hear what music you'll make next. Uh, Bunny Hugger, thanks so much for the Supa. The theme music and Hollow Hunger are very different, and there are many more music genres and emotions that you can explore. And I'm excited, so I'm excited to hear what you'll make next. Yes, thank you so much. I hope you guys um, will be there. 
when I finally release this next cover, um, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It, I ch literally challenge myself. Hollow Hunger in itself was a cha challenge, but this is a bigger challenge. Like, big, bigger. I compared the timeline on my audio program on Reaper. I compared the timeline compared to my newest cover, and I'm like, oh, boy. Oh, this one is a, a lot more complicated. A lot more complicated. <laughs> so I'm excited, right? It's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, trauma dump. I saw someone asking about trauma dumping. Sure. I mean, don't actually like trauma dump as in... <laughs> <laughs> as in insane as in like really insane deep and scary trauma dumping you know just just some problems in your life that you think i could um i could answer but when it comes to just the really deep stuff that i'm 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 just telling you guys that i'm not, I'm not a psychologist i play games to psychoanalyze me <laughs> other than that i can't i can't um you, you will not get the answer you want for that stuff. But, you know, maybe you're asking, Tavi, should I put milk first or cereal first? You know? That's a big question, right? What else? Tavi. Warm water or cold water? Right? Tavi. Someone outside keeps playing basketball at 7 a.m. How do I approach him to say he shouldn't do that? Tavi, my roommate, my, I mean, the guy on the other side of this room has been doing a bunch of things in the evening that are very, very loud and I want them to stop. How do we make them stop doing things with their friend? You know? And I'm like, put, you know, reinforce your wall with bricks. You know, something like that. <laughs> these are just these are just the sample questions that I that I'm thinking of right now. <laughs> this is getting too real, yeah. Just put bricks, paper thin walls. Just place bricks in there. You know, you know, you know what to do. <laughs> we can't tell them to stop, right? I guess maybe, maybe. But that's the kind of advice you're gonna get from me because. <laughs> I, I will never tell anybody to be like, can you please be quiet? Can you please be quiet? I can never. <laughs> uh, I can't. But, yeah, we won't talk with them. Instead, we adjust. <laughs> we, will always, we will always adjust instead. I can't do confrontation. No way. <laughs> um, Mom, I'm so glad to check up on it. Why do you have bricks? You don't want to know. <laughs> Kuya Tavi, if masyadong maingay rooster ng kapitbahay ko, ini i <laughs> So, uh, Mari asked if the rooster of their neighbor is very noisy, they get a oh, ko, 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 ko! Should, should they cook it? You know? That's the kind of discussions we should have. Alright? I trust you, Octoposse. Let's make Octox with Octavio. Even better. All right. Okay, let's play the game. All the boring. Wait, wait. We can't play the game. Alan gave a super chat. Chatting before gaming is your charm, Tavi man. I myself enjoyed a lot, so don't worry about it. Thank you so much, Alan. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for delaying me as well. Now we literally added <laughs> even more minutes. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. Of course it's fine. You gave a super chat. Why is it not fine? Right? Tavi, what's your favorite bed? Bread. I only know like two types of breads. It's like white bread and wheat bread. You know? What what there's bread bef there's the bread that people give you before you eat food in the restaurant. Uh Kuya Tavi, I wanted to add your Oshi mark to my Twitter name. Oh right, regarding the Oshi mark, um if you copy paste the Oshi mark in my uh, my account, my account name. You can you can get your you can get that mark on your name. Use the Oshi mark on my Twitter name. That's not that's not the infinity symbol like the emoji. It's it's a it's a character. It's a text character thing. 
Yeah, that's that's almost that's one of the most annoying parts of me choosing the infinity emoji is because Twitter doesn't like it when you use a blue emoji next to your name because it, it'll make you look like you're verified. I'm like, it's not a check mark. I'm not verified, right? Yeah, that that one that Spider Moon Cat um, posted. Use that. You can use that for a Twitter name. Though, if you did try to change it, it'll take 24 hours again for you, to, for you to try to change your name. So please use that instead. Yes. Tell your friends. Tell your parents. Tell your husbandos, your waifus. Tell your anime... Your anime characters that you really like. The video game characters that you really like. Use that emoji. And it's not an emoji. Use that character. The double O character that looks like the booba. For your um, for your Twitter name, um, I'm used to it. I run online name under Infinity. Oh, really? So that's why. Thanks for explaining. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, your company's your on your online name is Infinity. So ah, that's a hard thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, please do, please do that, Booba. No. <laughs> Booba's fine. Wait, what does my closed caption say when it comes to Booba? Also, uh, again, maybe to some of you, this is the first time of you seeing um, that I do have my captions on now. So I hope you enjoy that. If if the captions say anything weird, here is what I'm gonna say again. <clears throat> if anything weird shows up in yellow text on my stream, just know that that is not my doing. Okay, I'm saying this right now. So if anybody tries to cancel me over the things this caption puppet said, I'm saying right now, any yellow captions in my stream are not... <laughs> are, are, I can't control, okay? Um, when you said, no way! When you said, no, 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 no. Ah, god damn it. Uh, anyway, I think I think the um, it's worth the... the the weirdness, though, you know, I think the captions are pretty cool. Though I can't read what's going on here with the where the like the my strings meet the caption. But hey, <clears throat> yeah, it's like a rebellious puppet. <clears throat> As a hard of hearing person myself, I appreciate the captions, even though the accuracy. Yeah, yeah. Well, what I know is that you can kind of get what's going on just based on like context clues or what what you hear, the, the, what you hear and. Even if the caption is saying otherwise, you kind of, you can kind of make conclusions based on that. For example, when I signed off yesterday, I said something. I said, let's see each other again and again until infinity. Goodbye. Right? But for some reason, the caption was like, let's teach each, each other again and again until infinity. Could my. And that just doesn't make sense. Let's teach each other again. Could my? <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh well. What can you do? That is the nature of a beast. Let's go! Woo! Another 30 minutes has passed by. 31 minutes. 32 minutes soon. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off my lights here again. So last time we played this game... We got Philosopher. Uh, philosopher. What was the other one? Planner. And uh, Clergy. The Clergy um, personalities. So now we're going to find out our fourth hidden personality. Then lastly, we're going to get the personality that we are least. The personality that is least me. Which is also kind of interesting as well. Then... I, I think I saw someone say that I'm burping again I saw someone say that there is like a surprise at the end after a third playthrough so we're gonna do we're gonna do our second and third play what the heck why do you keep burping I'm like a baby that keeps burping after eating or something one thing though I need to pee <laughs> I need to go to the to the octo party. One second. One second. I need to pee. Damn it.
Hello! We're back. Ah. I'm sorry, this is- this is what's happening. Before I start the stream, I'm like, crap, I need my voice to be okay, so I'm gonna drink a lot of water. And then... That's what happens. I need to pee. You're fast? I squeezed it out! As usual, I octo-squeeze it out. You know? <sighs> okay, let's start the game. Oh, uh, I, I thought about this while I was uh, while I was squeezing, right? Is that I finally talked to Manesan about our Tagalog karaoke in the future, and I have to say, there is hope. There's a lot of hope actually that we can do it. So, I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you, 69k subs. All right, let's make it a goal. Let's make it a goal. Let's make it a long ass karaoke as well. Okay? Tagalog karaoke. 69k subs. Tell your friends. Tell your children. Tell your parents. Tell your ancestors. I, I don't know. Ancestors are just still alive right now. Tell your dogs or cats to subscribe. 69k subs. Oh, by the way, let me, let me introduce myself. I am the opulent octatonic operatic puppeteer A bounty hunter in Armis of Hallstars English My name starts with no, ends with no My name is Octavio <laughs> Let's sing! Sadilao Nabuan! Right? What else? What else should we sing? Um, friggin... Spaghetti ba 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 Jumbo hot dog You know? 69k, I'm telling you 69k. Let's get to 69k after this in within January. Let's go. <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs> Jumbo hot dog. <laughs> ah, no, your mom is here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Samra's mom. I'm sorry. <sighs> All right, let's play the game. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you keep stop suggesting. <laughs> Just a sort of go. Give it a call. <laughs> what else? What else? What else can we sing but not get DMCA'd? Nang ma'in la bako sa yo. We are in Octa Zone 2. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Ocho Ocho uh, Ocho Ocho is 888k subs 888k And a 3D model as well Right It's a 3D model so we can only have it like 888k subs Let's do it Let's do it You heard it here first <laughs> Damn I need to I'll need to uncrack my back hard Oh, speaking of 3D model, I saw Shinri's um, 3D. I saw Shinri's 3D. I wanna, I wanna have something like that made, right? I wanna have something like that made, like a lo-fi PlayStation One 3D. You know, PlayStation One looking 3D. I asked Shinri all the equipment that he needs. Uh, he needed, so I have that on my mind now. All I need is to um, work towards it. That'd be so cool. Yeah! That'd be so cool. Hopefully I can get that within... I can get that within the year. So we can finally do 3D stuff. Even if it's... um, You know what? You, it's actually really cool. Shinri's 3D. It's, it's lo-fi, but it's so nice still. Right? It took Shinri a year too. Yeah, I'm gonna try and work towards that uh, this year. It's one of my... One of my goals, so we can get, you know, 3D. <laughs> so we can do stuff in 3D. I want to do stuff in 3D! Yes! Yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's go and start. I'll only be able to do that with you guys, Octoposse. So help me! Help me! We're gonna do it! This year, 3D, 69k subs, 888k subs, Ocho Ocho, Jumbo Hot Dog. <laughs> God damn it. These freaking goals, man. They're crazy. They're <laughs> the goals of a crazy man. I told you, I told you in the stream announcement, this is gonna be 
a hinged, sane, and normal stream. And you guys got me to sing Jambo Hot Dog. You need to... You need to calm down. You need to calm down, Octopussy. Calm the heck down. Let's play the game. <clears throat> Immersion mode activated. Oh, speaking of... God damn... It's always speaking of... It's always... Oh, wait. I need to say something. Um... Anyway, I'm looking forward to me and Flay on the playthrough of Fata Morgana. So. <sighs> so good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. I wonder if you're gonna be able to tell our voices when we stream. Right? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if the rumors are true. I think, I think you'll be easily be able to distinguish it. Especially Flayon's voice. Flayon's voice is just so nice, right? Um. Hey, Tavioli. It's just my accent is just that much different. Even if we're in the same pitch, my accent is cuts through. It's a different accent. Meow. <laughs> That was actually really close, cool, ruler. It's the only thing I can say. What does Flayon say? Um, what stuff? You hate me. <laughs> I think that's more ruse. <laughs> that's more ruse than Flayon. You hate me. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's do it. Also, I want more people to. Learn to love the house in Phantom Morgana. That's such a great game. Everybody needs to experience it. Flay started the you hate me thing. Yeah, I know, I know. It's what Ruse said that he picked up from Flayon when he started watching Hollow Stars. Let's tell us shut up and that he will crush us. Shut up and I will crush you, Octopussy. Shut up, I will crush you. Maki runes. I remember when I called the Maki runes. Well, what was it, Makaron? I called them our trussies. Our <laughs> trussies, and everybody said, like, What did you call us? Never say that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you hate me. All right. But let's play the damn game. So, you cleared it. Well done. Your personality data has been written to a disk. If you wish to check it, you can do so via the disk or the menu. <laughs> Something you can't say because Flayon is dangerous. <laughs> um, you can compare your personality to others. But wouldn't it be best to know your personality in more detail? If you wish to deepen your understanding, I highly recommend you play again. This is exactly what I'm doing. Clear the game twice to compare personalities. Um, menu? Do I do new game or what? Is there a new game plus? My, so you're playing the game again? As to be expected, okay? It's kind of, kind of judgy. You seem to understand well. Perhaps you'll uncover a hidden personality of yours. Start the game again? Yes. I really want to learn how to properly do voice acting, you know? Oh, story immediately. Why? Why won't it work out? Please. Let this personality succeed. When I voice act, I feel like I'm always out of breath. When I sing, I'm rarely out of breath. And that's even if you if I sing like the long notes. Like ooh. But when I voice act, I'm like <laughs> Emotional AI system connected by Dr. Kusunoki. One starting in control mode and searching for master. <laughs> See? <laughs> Two, connection complete. Three, hello old net. Four, set language, English. Hey, finally connected. Now we can begin the test. You're about to take a personality test via a game. 
You control a girl. A girl very important to me. Oh, this is the doctor talking. Through that girl, you can do whatever you like. What will you do? What will you do in your limited time? What won't you do? It's all up to you. Be aware. Each decision will affect your personality. And also, you can relax. There are no game overs here. So just act in the way you want. Well then, let's begin the game. Thank you, doctor. The doctor said that your actions in the game will, will affect your personality, but isn't our personality already set in stone? And that's why we do the actions that we do in the game? Also, nose doko? I see. Nobody had to comment it. I know exactly what you guys are gonna say. Nose doko. Nose doko. Nose doko? Coco. Nose coco. Nose coco. Coco. What was the, what was the answer again? Nose doko. Coco, Coco des, Coco des, nose Coco, nose doko, Coco des, Coco da yo, Coco da yo. The doctor is dead. What am I going to do with myself now? Ah, uh, let's go. Now that we know how to play the game. Hmm. Wait a second. Wait a second. I know there's. Nah, nah, nah. We're gonna do things that we haven't done in the previous playthrough. So that means. Wait. That's right. Coco Crunch Dayo! <laughs> On this bench, the doctor called me by my name. Um. Octavio. Yes. Yes. She told me, Octavio, let's promise. Should I fulfill that promise? Um, I already, what was the promise? I kind of forgot. It's about the sheep. It's okay. It's safe in my heart. It's all right. No need to recall it. It's etched into my heart. Whatever happens, we'll be happy together. That's what the doctor told me. All right. Hmm. Let's move. Let's move. Fight, Odayo! Yeah, take care of the sheep. Yeah, take care of the sheep. What that means, I'm not quite sure. We need to take care of the sheep. Connection complete. Hello, old net. Sorry, there's a slight addendum I should make. Okay. I want you to observe how humans other than me act. If I could give her a proper human heart and personality, she surely wouldn't head for that conclusion. So please act freely however the mood strikes you. Your personality lurks within casual acts. For instance, let's see. Once able to move, you move forward, right? But others would pick up an item or check the grave. It's little things like that. Those unconscious bits distinguish humans from machines. As I explained, the test ends when your heart fails to 100%. It's up to you what actions you fill that heart with. It might fill up faster than you think. Than you think. Than you think. So be careful. Now, how about we continue the game? All right. Nose doko da yo. Tink. When you tink. <laughs> Enter. Oh, this is the thing again. Could you take that battery and give it to me? Those little thieves destroyed my body, so I can't get it my by myself. Without it, I surely die. I beg of you. Hold on just a second. Please have mercy on our poor little selves. Um. Nah. Exit. Because we already did that. Our choice was we shouldn't do anything. I mean, we, we should destroy the thing they're, that they're fighting. Yeah. If we destroy the thing that they're fighting over, then they don't have to fight anything. And they're happy. Let's see. I'm not sure if what I'm doing is correct. Is it? I can't tell. Because my goal here is to uncover more of the game's story. But... I also need to make, like, choices and stuff. Um, so in my mind, I really want to uncover story more. That's a sheep. 
it's locked. Yeah, we already did that. There is no incorrect action. Okay. Okay. So wait, when you guys are saying like there's like um something at the end of the third playthrough, you can get that no matter what, right? Um I guess it is my personality maybe to be able to see everything in the game as much as I can. Um So maybe that's what's going on. Maybe that's part of the game. Part of the test. Is there anything to the left? Now that I think about it. Let's talk to the- Die! Just die! A crow drone. What do I do? The doctor told me to kill these. Ha ha ha! Whir whir. Kill me if you think you can. No telling what might happen to you though. Whir whir. Um... I can't. Let's try petting it. What to do? There, there. Stop it! Don't screw with me! Ow! It attacked me! What? Haha, <laughs> war, war. Kill me if you think you can. Let's. Hmm. Hmm. I kinda... Nah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm giving up. Hey now, you sure? Do as you like. Where were I can't. Uh... I just wanna- I wanna see. Whoa! Oh, this is the sheep! Taku. Was there one like this? Who could she be? What are these around here? What are these things around here? Sheep. They watch over everything. As well as keeping a record. I see? I guess? Why sheep? I wonder. They are of utmost importance. Thus, I have a request. Please touch some sheep and come back. What? Touch sheep? Specifically, sheep other than those here. I believe there should be three or so out there. If you find them, I'll give you coins. Oh, sure. Let's touch some sheep. I do want to touch some sheep. Let me, let me see. When did I ever touch a farm animal? Oh, I remember when I was a kid, I touched a horse. I, a horse? A cow. A cow. Right? I milked the cow. Was a fun time? Actually, that was a fun time, right? But it's annoying when I was there. When we when we just arrived, there was like a wooden fence, right? There was a wooden fence, and I I was just really immersed in the farm, and I had my hand running through the wooden fence, right? I just had my hand like on the top of the fence, just gliding through it as I walked. Then suddenly, bird poop. Unfortunately. So, um... God damn. Bird poop. That wasn't fun. That was awful. <laughs> that was awful. I hate it. Oh, let's touch the sheep. <laughs> Oof, I know. I know. I was having such a fun time. Then suddenly, bam, bird poop. Ah! You got bird poop on your head? You know what? That's what I was thinking the other day. Maybe a few weeks ago. How are we, when we walk like under the sky, just under plain sky, are we just supposed to trust that no birds will poop on our head? That's how we're supposed to live? We're just supposed to like risk our lives under the sky? You know? It's crazy. Are these the sheep I was told to touch? Wear an umbrella, <laughs> an umbrella hat. Some people consider it lucky to get pooped on by a bird. Yeah, I, I think for cars. What I know is cars. People are like, oh, that's lucky. That's money. Um, well, it's either that or you have bird poop anxiety. 20. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I was just, I was just thinking, wow, humans really just trust that this bird that's flying above them right now will not poop on their heads. 
Because for some reason, they always find a way to poop on cars and everything that you like, except for yourself. But sometimes there will come a day, there will come a reckoning that it's you that will eventually get pooped on, right? And we just go about our daily lives not even thinking about it. I mean, I guess thinking about it, I think about it. And it's a frightening thought, you know? When you, when you get pooped on by the bird, I guess it'll feel like, it'll feel like you got hit by lightning, right? Because everywhere you go, there are a bunch of people walking under the sky, the same sky. But you don't see people go, ah, I got pooped on by the bird. So if you eventually do get pooped on, then that's like, looks like I got hit by lightning. And what does it mean if you get pooped on by a bird? What does it mean? Are you the main character of this world? This story? Right? Also, why don't birds just poop on people? Why do they choose cars? Why is it so rare to be pooped on by a bird? Ever thought about that? Are they, do they purposely avoid us? Why do birds suddenly appear? That means I'm the chosen manna from heaven. If they purposely avoid us, do they think about it? Do they see us and like, nah, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna poop on that guy. <laughs> Octavia, good to see you. Truth is the doctor entrusted me with a, you know what? That's the kind of thing that we should leave for Octox with Octavia. Because that is, that is something. It's the same way how we just trust our car, our, our real corruption beasts to not just suddenly break down while we're driving. You know, like all the pieces just suddenly pew. We just trust it. We go at like a million miles a second and just trust our real corruption beasts and just not, you know, implode. To set up a ladder wherever you wanted it. Of course, I'm that ladder. Okay, let's get the ladder this time. Now, where do you want the ladder? A spot that gives you a shortcut could be good. Or you could use it to reach somewhere inaccessible. Give access to an inaccessible area. Oh, he's gonna die though. He's gonna die. I'm sorry. This robot is gonna die, but I do wanna see more inaccessible areas. <laughs> the 360 no scope poop. <laughs> gotcha. Well then, I'll go become a ladder. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. Oh, that's sad. <sighs> that's sad. It's just a little thing, but I'm like, ah, that that robot was living in my previous playthrough. Now it's dead. It doesn't have any thoughts anymore. It's a ladder now. But we shall not have his sacrifice be in vain. We're going to go up and see what we can find here. Key obtained. Key to what? Key? Hmm. Okay, I want to make it a goal. What is this? Scrap obtained. To go to find new areas and um, maybe uncover some new lore and find some sheep to touch. We're gonna touch sheep. How about this ramen guy? Ramen. Yeah, we didn't buy a ramen last time. Let's see. We have 30 coins. What
Hello? Are we back? <clears throat> Are we back, oh? Hello? Yeah, we're back! Ah. What happened? Um... <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened. Hello. Hello, Uncle Posse. Wait, let me just boot the game up. <laughs> I think it's because we killed the robot. It's because we killed the robot that, um, you know. Crap. Do we need to repeat the thing? I guess. Yeah, oh, we need to get back to that part. Yes. Can we continue? We can continue! Whoa! Yeah, we killed the robot, then suddenly blue screen of death. Yeah, we got the blue screen of death, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> We're still here! Hey, thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um... Is PC Kun okay? I think I think it's okay. <laughs> um, lately, actually, I've been having some issues with um, with my I guess my graphics card maybe because I told you my graphics card like five years old or something. Um, I've been getting weird artifacts in games as well. Sometimes when I play when I stream, it's mostly fine, but when I play like on my own, I see a, a, a different issues coming up. So maybe that might be the problem. I might need to buy a new graphics card soon. I mean, it's way overdue anyway. <laughs> it's way overdue. I need a new graphics card. <laughs> Maybe just a like a 30, 30, 70 when we find something not super expensive, like a 4090 or 3060. I don't know. I don't know. But I do want to be, I do want my graphics card. If I get a new graphics card, I want it to be able to get some VR in the future, right? Or be able to do the 3D stuff that I plan. Ah, it sucks, it sucks. Good thing YouTube didn't like disconnect me from that. I'm kind of scared, kind of scared for the stream I planned this Monday, which you still won't know until Oct talks with Octavio. <laughs> Is this talking about us? Wait, what did the poster see? It's a poster. Fakers will never be the real thing. Hmm. Am I a faker? Gotta believe. Gotta believe in magic. Vending machine. You know, I am a little thirsty. Let's punch it. Let's punch it. Oh, Alan, what the heck? Okay, funds for upgrading. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That will definitely go towards getting a new GPU and new things for better content in the future. I don't know what's going on. Actually, that uh, I had a blue screen of death like um last week as well. So hopefully it's not a sign that things are going are, are getting bad. <laughs> okay, duck. You have a good night. Have a good night. You there? Would you show me a kindness of five coins? Actually, give me give me five coins now. Oh, Evie, thank you so much for the GPU funds. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, you're getting like a you're getting a celebration birthday thing with your Supas EV <laughs> because I guess it's a new account, kind of like a new account. Yeah. Let's see. We gave him five coins before us. You know what? Let's give him. He needs it. He needs the coins. I think. He says it's saved. I'm saved. All right. Let's go. What is this poster? To poster, give back our jobs again. Is there a sheep? I want to find more sheep. Oh, right. Last time we were here, we got cut off because the game told us to stop. So let's go to the basement. Yeah, let's go to the basement. Let's go check out the room that we left. Next question A gambling partner? Me? Or an overly diligent partner? Huh? A gambling partner or overly diligent partner? Which is more preferable? 
partner? Yeah. It's difficult for me to comprehend. I do get the concept, but... Oh, yeah? Hmm. If it were a person like the doctor, then I could follow. I see. Guess so. Okay, sure. Well, then. If I were either a gambler or overly diligent, which would be more preferable? Oh, interesting. You're... You're already an overly diligent gambler, doctor, so both. <laughs> okay. So the doctor's a gambler, see? It's a doctor, not me. I'm just doing what the doctor will do. Let's go. Let's see what's up here. Let's go talk to this robot. What have we here? Good day, or perhaps good... Wait, this is the, this is the robot in the beginning. My, but the doctor certainly has gone quite bold again. Uh, how do you mean? How do you mean that? Shouldn't that be obvious? I mean her plan, of course. You're right in the middle of it all, so you must know. You can't tell me you don't, can you? She <laughs> like me for, for overly diligent gambler, God damn it! Though only you, I, and one more know about me? Wow. Oh. Ooh. I just got a little bit of chills. Just got a little bit of goosebumps. Truly, she's such an unreasonable sort. Still, I ought to prepare to head out soon. Stop perceiving me, manager type. Now then, what to do? The manager perceives me. The doctor's PC. Is it displaying my personality? My current personality, what for? Um, I don't want to be spoiled. Let's not look at it. What to do? No, I won't look at it. Is there anything else here? Check. <laughs> Let's check it again. Doctor. Cool. Cool. Nice. Nice. Nice photo. The footsteps are so satisfying. So pretty, I know. A cool photo of two cool people, I know. Right? Uh-huh. Let's read this poster. It's a poster. Stop EA. Yeah, okay. Cardboard box? Oh, it's damp. Let's try getting inside. We haven't done this yet. What to do? I'll look inside. Can I move as the cardboard box? <laughs> what? I'm inside the box. I'm inside. I'm here. Everything's good. Everything's peaceful. Check AC unit. Smoke. Should we smoke? I guess we could try. Hey, uh, how about a smoke, miss? Um, natural indie spirit has a natural scent. Simple cigarette with an organic focus, 20 coins. Golden sheep has a faintly sweet smell, cheap and full of tar, 10 coins. Tavi in a box, what will we do? The possibilities are endless. Has a fruity smell like tea for those who prefer tea time to smoking. I, do, I guess I do prefer tea time. Though this is, smoking is one of the most common causes of lung cancer for you. I do want to try the natural indie spirit. Let's do it. Yes. Come again. Be sure to smoke in the smoking area. Where is the smoking area? This? That's not a smoking area? I'm sorry. Where is the smoking area? Here? Check. Investigate for- clean the area. Clean the area in the manhole. It's dirty, so I'll make things clean. Nah, this is not me. I'm not gonna clean. I just wanted to see what's up. What do you mean you're alive? I got disconnected for a second. For like five minutes there. 
at some point. But welcome! Also, to everybody who's just tuning in, hello! We are currently in the midst of our second playthrough of Refined Self. To find our second personality. This is a smoking area, let's do it. We be smoking. Who's up, who up smoking the canal? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Why do you smoke cigarettes, doctor? We chose the right thing. We made the right choice. Hmm, well. Because I've got smokes and a lighter in my pocket. That's not an answer. Smoking increases the risk of death. It can make you more likely to get sick or shorten life expectancy. Sure can. I don't wish for you to die early, doctor. <laughs> Glad to hear it. But that might be tough, so long as I've got a lifespan. Why is... Why, are we gonna cry at the end? <laughs> I don't want to cry, though. Um. Unfortunately, I don't have money for the casino. Damn it. I don't have money for the casino. Pick up. Throw. What does this do? Maybe there's... Maybe it has... It'll show something. No? Is there any secret? Hmm. Oh, this cute little guy. What is this? Scrap? Scrap. L -l -l lonely. Oh, thank you for joining with Finger Puppets, V. Thank you, thank you. I want lonely memories. You have lots of memories I want. Huh? Give memories? Is this new? If you'll trade coins. Um. I guess. Memories. Uh, will I lose these memories though? I wonder. Sure. If my memories will do, sure. Really? I'm glad. Thank you. I'll also give you coins. Thank you! Give me coins! Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, oh well. Down the hatch. Beep. G -g 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 -g. Um. G -g 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 -g. Ah. Plus 30? Delectable. F -f thank you. I just copied my records, but I wonder if that's okay? Oh, okay. Can I talk to you again? L -l lonely. I want lonely memories. You have lots of memories. I want lonely. Uh, nah. I already gave him my memories. Hm. I see, I see. Does this have anything to do with anything? Throw. Throw? Oh, let's throw it at this guy. Oh, I can't. How about this thing? No? There's so much, though. Let's talk to this guy instead. Welcome, come right in. I'll sell you just one thing. A hundred coins. A hundred coins. A hundred... Ah. I don't have money. However, we've already broken all these pots, so might as well throw stuff. I, I'm thinking the game will give us like the fifty percent back again, right? I'm concerned. We're almost at. We're already at eighty percent. I don't want it. Okay, what happens if I throw everything? Nothing. Okay. Sure. Here we are again. Now this isn't good. They've already come this far. They might really attack. It's all but certain. A recon model was already shut down. No way, but the doctor isn't even here. Right about now, she'd be having peace talks. But then why? Because they never intended on making peace, I assume. That's cowardly. 
It certainly is. Well then, I will handle attacks from the aircraft. Miss Octavia- Oh! We can open the door! Remember there's a big spaceship that drops down here? Right? Alright. We can probably open the door to that spacecraft. Or... The shrine? Isn't there a locked thing? The shrine? Um, let's do attack up. Yes. Let's try attack up this time. Let's go full attack up. Let's see how strong we can become. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> this is lore right here. So there's like a... I wonder if these things are aliens or something. And we're robots. So I'm thinking this is kind of like a near automata situation. Where we're robots and we're trying to protect a human race or something? From these, I don't know, aliens? They look like aliens. All right. Give me more attack up. Do it. Do it, 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 do it. Give me all the attack up, then let's go straight to the alien spaceship. Drake near so cool. I want to finish the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I really want to do a DDD, DDD XP. A dangerous deep dive playthrough of Near Automata. And I guess eventually Replicant as well. It's just I did play Replicant very recently. So I want I want there to be more of a time a big time skip before I replay Replicant. Yeah. And what's cool though is I did play Near Gestalt like on the PlayStation 3 long ago as well. I'm so happy that people are loving the Nier series now. I remember, I remember so well in my mind. When I played Nier Gestalt long ago, people hated that crap. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't crap. I loved it. But people were like, ah, this is crap. I hate this. This is awful, right? They, need, they needed a Nier Automata with cool looking characters for them to believe that the stealth replicant is good. Though I have to say, the gameplay like of near Gestalt back in the day was was not good. It's not as good as the replicant remake. Remaster, remake, remaster. Ugh. 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 The replicant gameplay really improved so much as compared to Gestalt. Love to let us tell your thoughts on the difference between Gestalt and Replicant. I need to, I need to replay Gestalt if there is really a big difference. All I know, all I remember is Gestalt is from the perspective of Yona's father. While Replicant was, is from the perspective of Yona's brother. I haven't really looked too much into like this and if there are any big story differences and stuff like that. Um, but I do prefer the perspective of the father instead of the big brother. I think I think it's I think it might fit more to me. I do I do like the father daughter angle more than the brother brother sister angle. Mm -mm. Thank goodness. Doctor, I yes, you got damage defending back there. You were left no choice but to shut down. Then the enemy it's okay. The others managed to handle it. They only got a little singed. But you... You were gravely wounded, you know? It was rough, but I'm glad you recovered, truly. Is that so? <sighs> but I'm wondering, why? Hmm? With this island's equipment, wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be more efficient to build me from scratch? We already did this. But I just like doing the voices again. The last time I voiced this, I was like, You could just back up my memory, idea, and behavior data. I don't want to do the falsetto. I want to do a high voice. Judging from the time I shut down, repairing me took roughly 70 hours. And comparing your health to usual, even the naked eye can tell you've hardly slept. 
Why do something so inefficient? Hmm. True. Maybe it'll be easier to start from scratch. But that just wouldn't do. You're you. Data is data. There's a you dwelling in there, I think. Though I can't explain it myself. Even if I moved back up data to a freshly made you, I couldn't see it as you. Feels like that's what the human heart is. Not my puppets, though. Not my puppets. As long as I name you, you, whatever, whatever form you take, you're the same puppet, okay? I see. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, maybe I should retweet. Yeah, because I know, because I disconnected earlier, right? I got blue screened. Maybe I should just do a little retweet of my going live, just to be sure. PC BSOD'd. But I'm back though. <laughs> I can't believe I blue screen of deathed. <laughs> blue screen of death. No, I wanna get to the I wanna get to the thing before it fills 95%. No. There we go. Perfect. Let's open the door. But it won't open? I have a key. Wait, 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 wait. A key to some door. Huh? It doesn't work? Ah, crap. It doesn't work. Um. Maybe... Maybe I should go back to the temple. Yeah, there was a temple that needed a key. Yeah, the shrine. Exactly. We need to get back before it reaches 100%. If not, where did I get the key again? It was from the ladder man. Connection complete. Seems the test moving. Let's see now. You can go to the lab basement. All right, the test is pretty far along. Yes, yes, I want to play it for a little bit longer. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we must find... We must go to the shrine. Where the key is supposed to be. Hey, Maple, thank you for the dog. That's saying... How... How is it doing? <laughs> thank you, thank you for the super. I wonder if there's a way to open that spaceship. Spaceship. Hmm. The dog. What's the dog doing? Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Are these all the levels so far? Right? I think we've seen all the places to go. What is that? Do you see that? There's something on the side. What is this? What? A cleaning type robot. Well now, good day. I am cleaning. I am cleaning. R2D2? <laughs> is that a collapsed person? Um. Bruh. Dismantle the person to be safe? Wait, make cleaner stop disposal. Leave cleaner to disposal. Dismantle the person to be safe. Um. Like a puppet? I can dismantle my puppet? I guess we, we stop. Make the cleaner stop. That makes the most sense to me. I'll make it stop. Cleaner, you don't have to dispose of this one. Understood. Suspending duty. Removing. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to this person then. It's an actual person? It's an actual human? Ugh, ugh. You're the first model, huh? Oh, no, it's not. Maybe? You're the doctors. Yeah. Oh, it is an actual human. Her little brother? What happened to you? Tell my stupid sister 
to stop this right away. My body won't listen to me anymore. Just coming here <laughs> was pretty rough. Tell him the doctor is dead. Right? The doctor is dead? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I guess she would do that, wouldn't she? Hey, thanks so much for joining the sock puppets. Thank you, thank you. That means my efforts were all for nothing. Why? Some lousy machines. I'm the one. She. What? He's dead. He died? Why does this feel sad? What the heck? The corpse of the doctor's brother. Check it before disposal, I guess. I'll inspect it. Hmm. What's this? Maybe I can use it for something. No, I, I want to check it before I bury it. Ah! Cleaner, please take care of the rest. Understood, understood. Commencing disposal. Broken watch. A stop pocket watch. Made with valuable materials, the second hand is at three, the short hand is at five, and the long hand is at seven. Seven, seven, twenty-five, and I guess some seconds. Seven twenty-five. Am I correct? Am I correct? Wait, seven. Long hand at seven. Short hand is at five. 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 Short hand. Seven, five. What? Long hand at seven. Short hand is at five. So five. Well, let me look at the clock right now. No, 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 no. No. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Seven, twenty-five. And. Second hand is at three. No. No. Am I? Am I? Am I, am I crazy? Five thirty-five. Wait. All right. All right. You're right. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. I see it now. Short hand is the hour. Okay. Okay. Also, Sayaka, welcome to the puppets. Ellie, welcome. To I love that me misreading the time made you guys subscribe. I mean, membership. M member. Okay. Thank you. See? Just as Ke Keikakudori. Keikakudori. I knew there was something fishy. I read 7 I was like, hmm. There's something fishy. Short hand at 5. Long hand is at 7. 5.35 and 3. So 15 seconds. Okay. 5.35, 15. Sure. Uh, Keikaku Dori. Keikaku means plan. Dori means just as? Just as. 5.35 oh, 3? 3? Oh, is it like the 3? Like the hour? Like a big minute thing? 3? Or like 3? I was in 3 seconds. 5.35.15 or 5.35? Ah, okay. Keikakudori. Keikakudori. Alright. I said Keikakudori, therefore that means I, I totally, totally um, meant to do that. Alright. <laughs> Let's take some scrap. Oh, what the heck? Alright. Oh, Someone does fall down. Keyboard. I'm the helper type. Oh! Is that so? What do you want? You surprised me. That surprised me. Sorry, it always happens like this. Sorry, I thought you might be having trouble. And I wonder if I should give you something the doctor left. The doctor? Yes, please pick one. 
coins are movement speed or affection. Let's get coins. We already got the affection from long ago. Guess I'll take coins. Coins, yes? Here you are, thank you. Just five? You haven't seen a mechanical clock in ages, have you? God damn. Don't form conclusions because of a because of a really quick lapse in judgment, okay? <laughs> what do you mean five? It's just five, though. How can I gamble with just five coins? No free lunch in this world, Tommy. Oh! 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 You know what? Playing this game makes me want to play Shovel Knight. You guys know Shovel Knight? I love that game. I want to play Shovel Knight on stream. Talk. You... Looks like you have a key. There we go! That's the key to the shed. And I need it. I'll buy it from you for two... <gasps> oh no! Um... Um... Wait... <laughs> wait... 240 coins... We can do a lot of slots. I mean, you know what? Maybe so. Maybe the slots, the slot machine has like um, a sheep. You know? Uh. Oh. I need to see what's inside myself. Key keeper. Key keeper. Key keeper. Key keeper. I need to. I need to see what's inside. Maybe next playthrough. No, I can't. We let's see what's inside, then if it's not worth it, then let's just get the money next time. No, I can't. I'll be using it myself. I see. Too bad. It's a real shame. Oh, it's another sheep! Oh, I touched it and vanished. Keekeeper! Are these the sheep I was told to touch? There's one more. We need to touch one more sheep. It's locked. If I use this key, the door unlocked. Enter. Oh, what is this? A paper note. Something's written on it. Unknown note obtained. Let's see. Secret. Really? Secret trick to get 999 coins. Keep on walking down the coastline and they're yours. Really though? Really? Ha, huh, interesting. Interesting. Oh wait, I want to I want to do this prayer correctly. Um Would a human pray here? With a doctor? Alright, I'll pray. I wonder how much I should donate. If we're gonna get 999 coins, we can get... We can give 5, five. We can give 5 coins. It's fine. I'll put in 5 coins. I believe it. 2 bows, 2 bows, 2 claps, 1 bow. One bow. We did it. We give her offering. We ring the bell. We did it, right? Do we do it correctly? Do I need to ring the bell after? How do these shrines work? Two bows, two claps, one bow, then ring the bell? Oh! Can I do it again? A robot wouldn't pray at a shrine. What use is praying? 
If my prayers were heard, it never would have come to this. Oh! Um, I guess we're good. We just need to... Should I light this up? Crackle, no good? Okay, whatever. Huh. I want to find the other sheep first. We haven't found the other sheep. Let's go check here for a second. Then... Actually... Yeah, let's go check here for a second, then... Let's go back to the coastline. I nearly sent myself flying down the stairs by accident. What the, what the heck? What did you do to your stairs? To yourself? Um... I'm not gonna dig. I'm not gonna dig because we're gonna get 999 money from the coastline. Alright? I might dig there... Let's see. Let's confirm first via the coastline if what the note said is true. Then... We'll see next... <gasps> we'll see next, um... Playthrough. If we're gonna do that. Is there something else here? Oh, it's this. This is... Yeah, yeah. I see okay. It was... Ah! She fell down again! What the? I, I'm the helper type model Kibo. Again? Did the doctor leave her for in case my emer energy was low? Well then, what do you want? Yes, well, I thought you might be having some trouble. There's some way I can help. Sure? Help me somehow. Aha, uh -huh. and so, uh, that's right. Since you're running out of energy, should I wind the key on your back? Nah, that's fine. Why? I don't feel like it. But that's... Truly, what a human-like action... But in that case, you don't need me, do you? Well then... Uh, she exploded? Oh. What is going on? What? She just explodes like that and we're okay with it. Oh, she exploded. Okay. I'm gonna give you my scrap. Blows up pancakes with mind. Damn, now I want some pancakes, now that you mentioned that. On pancakes, maple syrup. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Always raining due to experiment. Lab town. Experiment? I wonder what the experiment is. Why well, it's always raining. Oh, that's a building. Is it because we're crying? I, is this supposed to be another sheep? Looks like a sheep. Uh, let's go to the coastline again. I want to see... What we can do. I want to make pancakes on stream. You know? What's a good top? What's the best topping for pancake to you guys? Or do you like it like raw? Not raw, like nothing. Don't give memories. Not raw as in, <laughs> come on. Chocolate? Ooh. I do like pancakes literally with just, with just um, maple syrup, I guess. Bacon and syrup. But oh, banana is good too, actually. I do. I what I do like is freaking bread, banana, and Nutella. Oh, it's open! It says oh. The door is open. How? Why? When? What? There's nothing inside. Nutella and bread classic. Nutella, pandesal. It's a weird combination, I guess. Nutella and pandesal. Heck. 
Um, but yeah, Nutella, bread, and banana. Ooh, with some coffee. Coffee or hot choco. Guys, do you have this thing where you dip your bread in your hot choco or your coffee? I always do that. I always dip everything in my drink. No, yes, 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 yes. See? Wow, so many of you. Wow, so many of you. There was a time where I dipped my Spanish bread in my coffee. And then the people I was with, people I were with, was was with. The people I was with? The people I were with. What the heck? What's a grammar for that? They're like, wow, you're so old. Wow. You're like an old person. I was like, huh? But I do that for everything, right? I dip my fries in my Coke. Dip my fries in my ice cream. I dip my bread in my coffee. My bread in my tea. My bread in my Coke. My bread in my iced tea. You know, I dip in it. I dip my food in every drink that I have. Fries in pilk. Fries in Coke. Is good. Yeah, it's good. I have to try pilk though. I have. I haven't. I haven't had the opportunity to to find myself in a restaurant that serves milk and soda. <laughs> you lose your hunger. What? You're short circuiting again. Yeah. Or pizza in hot choco. You know, stuff like that. That's good, that's good. I swear, I swear. Just dip your food in your sweet drink. It's good. Especially if it's a bread, bread-like food. Oh, sir, that's too, what? Pizza and hot choco. Actually, you know what? I was in, I was in Haka's stream. And I was getting slandered. I don't know, slander or libel? I don't know. I told Haka... Because I think they were talking about pizza, right? They were talking about cold pizza. Cold pizza is great. Cold pizza is good. But you know what's even better? I mean, it's not better than cold pizza. It's it's just another way to enjoy it after uh, leftover pizza. Is to French toast your pizza. Right? Have you guys tried that? French toast your pizza. Come on. Come on. No? None of you have tried it? Bruh, French toast your leftover pizza right now. I'm I'm telling you. Here's here's what you do. Milk. Um bruh, I'm telling you, milk. Uh what do you do with eggs? Um paprika? I don't sugar no, probably not sugar. Maybe a little bit of salt. Some salt there. Some salt. Paprika. Um Yeah yeah I, I swear I swear I swear to the church of O Right Yeah instead of cinnamon paprika Then add whatever other whatever freaking spices you wanna add Then get your leftover pizza with your hands bare hands I don't want you to wear gloves okay I don't want you to wear freaking gloves Use your hands and your your hands add flavor to the to the mixture. Get your pizza and just soak it in there. Just soak it in. You know? Get that milk and egg inside the crevices of your pizza. Just right in there. Okay? <laughs> Dip it. You know? The sound of love. Right? Then when you're done, place it um, toppings down like the the top down on the pan and just let it cook then cook the other side the bread side I'm serious I am heckin serious come on come on I'm so happy that I get to influence all of you today I'm truly I'm truly an influencer right I'm truly an influencer try it try it you know what maybe we can do a hand cam hand cam uh French toast pizza. So many ideas, so many things to do. It's kind of horrifying. <sighs> try it, try it. 
Don't knock it unless you've tried it. Same with mango pizza and all the other stuff you keep, guys. You guys are saying this is like a hot take or hot take or whatever. French toast pizza is the most safest, is like the safest take that I could ever give you guys. They do food poison? <laughs> no! Of course! You, you, use fresh milk or whatever. Don't use rotten milk. <laughs> I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy pizza just so I can make it leftovers the next day. <laughs> then we're gonna, we're gonna freaking do it. And then you'll see. Like, imagine, imagine, just imagine. You got the egg and the, and the milk and the whole mixture. And it's all inside the pizza and all around it. And then when you, when you cook it, all of that kind of, um, uh, coagulates or gelatinizes or whatever and it just becomes like a really thick really heavy pizza oh we got to the end of the coast where's the money huh there's no money Secret trick to get 999 coins. Huh? Oh, check my wallet. Check my wallet. Where's my wallet? The heck? 1074! <gasps> Let's go. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, um... Let's go to the let's go to the robot guy first. That's been that sells things. Let's buy everything he's selling, and then let's go to the casino. Please, please, this guy. I'll sell you just oh just one thing. Presents or some. There must be someone who wants it. A hundred coins. Let's buy this, I guess. Thanks very much, yo. Who wants a gift? I, I feel like this guy needs a gift. Lonely. I want lonely memories. You have lots of memories. If you'll trade coins. And sure, really? How about 30 coins? Trade. Sure, really? I'm glad. Thank you. Jif? Jif or Gif? Maple, thanks so much for the super. Again, thank you. Thank you. Down the hatch. Beep. Go, 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 go. I gave him memories again. And I got money. Delectable. Thank you. Gif as in G. Gift. 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 RG GIF. The GIF. The GIF in GIF is silent. So it's just. It's just. Yo, Miss Favorite. I'm gonna gamble. Um, picking a fight? I'll kill you. How should I reply? She's pretty cool. Mirai is pretty cool. Look at that. Right? Pretty cool. You mean you like me? You like me? Rongo, I meant the doctor. You were the doc's favorite, weren't you? If <laughs> it's just ugh. Did you go visit her grave? Yeah. Huh. Oops, sorry for the gloomy topic. Almost forgot I'm a dealer. If you want to play, just say the word. Oh, and you gotta bring three. I have that. I have that. Give me three hundred. No, no, forget that. Let's play. I have it. Don't give me that. Let's just play. Ah, now that's real interesting. But nope, I can't do that. Betting your earnings is the whole point. You collect it quick, don't worry. Just a question of how. All right. No! 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 I want to use my coins! What? 
It better give me a chance to do one more action. No. <laughs> No! Ah! Uh, damn it! Okay, okay then. I, it's not. It's not like I can do anything. I had a thousand. I need to walk the whole. F I need to walk the whole coastline again. While well, you guys shame me for my French toast pizza. <laughs> oh, oh! What was I? That's right, the doctor. Did control mode terminate? Why in the world? Oh, damn it. Not much energy left. There are still things I have to do. Um. I'll do what I can for the doctor and myself. I'll do what I can for the doctor and myself. God heard you say French toast pizza decided you crossed the line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next playthrough, I'm gonna go straight to the coastline. Then we're gonna buy the. I I didn't even get to use a gift. The gift. The gift. The gift. The. Uh. There's no time. I have to take out the sheep. Wait for me, doctor. I didn't even get to see any other sh No, don't destroy, don't destroy, stop. Formation rate 101%? Damn. What are you planning to do to the sheep? I'm going to destroy them. That is a difficult thing for me to allow. It's to keep my promise to the doctor. Please let me do it. Whatever your reasons, I have my own mission. The mission of protecting these sheep. As such, if you would destroy them, I will destroy them. Huh? It seems I have to. Strong blow. Autofocus. Search. Self-destruct. Oh, I don't have the same options I had last time. Finding sheep parts will power something up. Let's do it. Is there anything useful around here? There! A remnant of a sheep! A body fragment, maybe? I can use this to increase my defense! Strong blow! Seven damage? <gasps> can I win by fighting fair? Strong blow! Foolish! You can't beat me! Ugh. Ow! Can I win by fighting fair? Strong blow! Dorian pizza? I've never had... I don't think I've ever had... Dorian. 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 Like in its fruit form. I've only had a Dorian candy. Foolish! You can't beat me! Oreo pizza, what? Ow, can I win my fighting fair? Strong blow. Dorian candy is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't had, like, Dorian Dorian, like, fresh fruit. You can't beat me. Five damage. Can I win by fighting fair? Strong blow. Eleven damage. Foolish, you can't beat me. Four damage. Wow, I can win. Strong blow. Ooh. Foolish, you can't beat me. Ugh. Ow! Can I win by fighting fair? Strong blow! Ah! I did it. I beat her. Chocolate covered mango. I'm not I'm not really into chocolate covered fruits. Until until I went to a buffet restaurant like long ago, maybe a few weeks ago, a few months ago, and there was a strawberry. There was a strawberry in the buffet. And there was a buffet spread. There was a s specific strawberry there. Uh, Maple, thank you for joining the Finger Puppets. Um, we weren't we weren't exactly sure if we could get that strawberry, but we asked, and yeah, we can. And that specific strawberry we put in chocolate, and then we ate it. It was like what? 
Just that specific strawberry. The strawberry was really good. It was really good. But before that moment, strawberry and chocolate, mm, not, not, not a thing for me. Fruits and chocolate, mm, not, no, 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 no. I can't. I can't. <laughs> banana and chocolate, though, is good. I'm fine with banana and chocolate. And that specific, that specific strawberry. Not other, not any other strawberry. Just that. <laughs> I did it. I beat her. It can't be. I. Ugh. Why, 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 why? Now, at last, the doctors promise I'm at the limits of my energy. Please hold on. I'm coming. I'll be there soon. Doctor. I'm also not into strawberries in general. I'm into strawberry ice cream, you know, that kind of stuff. Processed strawberry. Wait, I, I got an ending. Ending adventure? Doctor. You made a request of me, doctor. But I feel I may not be able to carry it out. I am... Yes, I am traveling. I'm thinking I'll go on an adventure to unseen worlds. I'd like it if I could find you there. And would it be wonderful if people like me were there too? So sad. Alexa, play Despacito. Game clear. Hey, Evie, you're not into strawberries. Maybe you're not as enlightened as I thought. What? Okay, here, 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 here. I would like to go to Japan one day. Someday. And I'd like to taste the strawberries in Japan. Because the strawberries here are very hit or miss. To me. Okay? But you bet. One day, when I go to Japan... I'm going to try strawberries because they say Japan's strawberries are like our our next level, right? Cuz here the strawberries here kind of taste like tomatoes. <laughs> I have to say, they kind of taste like tomatoes. And I have a hard time eating tomatoes if they're not kind of salted. So, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, not in the same way that tomatoes actually taste. They're like, they just taste like... Not super sour, but almost sour. Almost sour. Almost sour, almost sweet. You know? That weird area. Try Baguio's. That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. The only place I even eat strawberries is when we go to Baguio. <laughs> Though to be fair, the last time we went there... The last strawberries you bought were kind of were sweeter than usual. So, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I do want to taste uh, Japan strawberries. I was able to collect some new data. No hate to Baguio strawberries, but... <sighs> They're just alright to me. <laughs> I want to let her keep living. Do machines like that mindset? The moment their warden's gone, a defect? No, sorry. My selfish circumstances are no concern of yours. You're indulging my experiments in this ending. Don't say durian burger. <laughs> Come on. Strawberry taho. Yes, I freaking love that. I love strawberry taho. I love strawberry jam. Like I said, processed strawberries. I really like because they're sweet. But raw strawberries? Like 1 out of 10 is good. Two, 1 to 2 out of 10, 10 are good. Yeah? But strawberry taho, strawberry jam, all of that stuff, yes, please. Give it to me. I love it. Strawberry ice cream, strawberry donuts. 
Rather than complain, I should thank your cooperation. Thank you, I think I'm- I'm getting hungry. Let's try exporting your personality from the log, shall we? The log shows what percent of subjects did the same. <laughs> Return to your roots, we eat grass. <laughs> so every time they use a lot of sugar, that's- I think that's why it tastes sweet. <laughs> strawberry shortcake! Yes! The strawberry shortcake in Baguio, the freaking Viscos? Bruh! I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. I'll excuse myself. Thank you and have a good ending. Oh, here we go again! With the statistics! Honestly, my favorite, like, sandwich that I like to make is a strawberry... A strawberry and butter. Don't tell me that's a hot take. Strawberry and butter sandwich... Is, like... The sandwich I love the most. At least with the, when it comes to the jam sandwiches... And stuff. Strawberry and butter. See? Toast, toast the bread, toast the bread, put the butter on there so it kind of melts, and then place the strawberry jam, kind of mix it around if it's, if it's mixable, then, <laughs> oh, so good. What kind of butter? Butter. <laughs> oh, I got adventurer. You know what? This is the personality I thought I would get, like, initially. The adventurer personality. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to bread and coke? Bread and coke is good. Fries and coke? Great as well. Hash brown and coke? I haven't tried. Hash brown and orange juice? Orange juice? Good. Salted or unsalted? I don't know. I don't really... Both, I guess? One dedicated to going where none have gone and doing what may be impossible. Passion. Adventurers soggy? I mean, that's the whole point of dipping it so it can get all the fluids. <laughs> then you eat it and it's like, <laughs> ooh. Moist. <laughs> uh, passion. Adventurers have a burning desire to see new unseen worlds. You want to go places you've never been and your heart bursts with excitement. You might have explored back alleys, entered a shop because you've never been, or searched for creatures in a gutter. Kaya toast and butter? Yeah, that's good, that's good. Coffee bread with milk? Coffee bread with milk. Please don't call it fluids. I mean, it, it is fluids, right? It's fluids. Yeah, I like this. I like this adventure personality. I like it. I'm adventurous. Okay, I'm adventurous with games. I'm not truly adventurous like in South Elysium, you know, because it's very dangerous out there. It's very hot and very dangerous. So, and I'm very careful because I, I don't want to die. Like I said, like I said in Haka's interview, I'm I'm afraid of dying. So. <laughs> I am not adventurous like here in South Elysium. Only in games, because in games you can literally do anything you want. Well, as long as the game wants you to do it. Uh, requires you to do it. But um, in South Elysium, I don't want to die. I don't want to be involved in any kind of accident. I don't want to be... I don't, I don't want to be that guy people go to the news and be like, Ah, that guy's a schmuck. Why do you even go there? Why do you even skydive? That's, he, he got what he deserved. No way. No. <laughs> um, enter the shop because I've never been a search for creatures in a gutter even illogical actions are part of who you are you're just curious to know what will happen this passion lets you see beauty in things others show no interest in no doubt enriching your life I mean it can it can apply to maybe not like the adventure as in the adventurous personality that you know the, the extreme adventurous side I'm definitely not that, but I'm I'm adventurous when it comes to, you know, chew, you know, uh, trying new food, you know, you know the things that are easy to get to, but are also adventurous still in a sense. 
but not like jumping from a tall building i like, parkouring off a tall building skydiving going to that weird ass place in the middle of the forest you know food yeah places to go to that are safe yeah sure um that kind of way yeah yeah jumping off a of very tall some things yeah you're way too adventurous with food stop it stop it that's a positive thing but you the way you said it sounds negative <laughs> Boncho, what? I'm the real Boncho here. My next personality is Boncho. A strong sword who isn't picky about methods, getting things done like nobody. Oh, really? Really? And the most proactive of all that and aren't picky about means of resolution. If there's a stubborn locked door, you may choose to bust it open if there's something important inside. You have immense strength, which births ideas not bound by existing rules. At times, you may make choices that involve sacrifice. Yet these are steps only you can take. Indeed, are great strides. I mean, I, I think I showed this during our Lethal Company stream. Right? <laughs> I was the real Boncho in the Lethal Company stream. Gerard, during our Lethal Company, our last Lethal Company stream, was just like, ah, no, no, we should trust him. We should trust him. I was like, nah, 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 nah. I'm going back to the, I'm going back to the ship. I'm leaving y'alls. See? <laughs> Martial artist? I mean, I love monk type characters. I love fist type characters. One prefers easily understood things over complicated ones taking the beaten path. Okay. Really? Martial artists make judgments with a preference for simple. It's kind of weird how this is such a different result from our previous one. Is it because I disconnected with my BSOD? Arm is challenging Gerard for the Boncho title. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care about being leader, right? I don't really care, but I can control them whenever I want to. They don't even know. Maybe they're being controlled. I'll, I just let them believe what they want to believe, that they have free will on their own. But when the going gets tough, you know, I have options. I have many, many options. They can believe whatever they want. You guys can believe whatever you want. I'm just here in the back, watching, seeing things. Gibby might be the one that's hardest to control just because he's like a million miles away when you fight, you know? But when he's doing the CQC, you know, a little tug here just to get his hand out of the way. You know, a little tug that they won't notice. Maybe a little tug there so they can, you know, punch an enemy that's escaping, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't really know. They don't feel it. But it's there. The all-encompassing power of the puppeteer. <laughs> um, martial artists make judgments with a preference for simple options. When ordering a drink, you might tend to ask for the simplest available. You might also hold simultaneous beliefs that things are both individual and fall into categories. Okay. Rather than stick out, you harmonize with those around you and search for safe answers. It by no means implies violence. You protect yourself naturally. Hey, this is what we're we talking about. Protect yourself naturally, a key ability for a stable life. What? This is what we're, we're just talking about. This applies, I guess, to um, South Elysium. In me and South Elysium, maybe. Um... I go for the safe bets, the safe answers, the things that can keep me safe, protects me naturally. And the only thing I really need is a stable, a stable, easygoing life. No surprises. You know? Bro is omniscient. Yeah. I see everything. I don't need to be the center of attention. I don't need to be any of that. As long as I'm safe and everybody thinks they're more than they are. <laughs> let's see, let's see. End test. Wait, where's my hidden personality? Can you see these? 
What do you mean these? These? Where's my hidden personality though? Oh, adventure is the hidden one. Okay. I see. Well done, clearing the game. These? Huh? These nuts? Ah. Keikakudori. I, I wanted you to say these nuts in chat. Keikakudori. I got you. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good to be the only one that can vocally say that they win. I wanted you to do that. Who got who? I'm confused. I got you. Ha! You think you think you did that on your own accord? Nah. Nah. No way. See? You guys don't even know. You guys don't even know you're being played by none other than me. The opulent octatonic operatic puppeteer. From Bounty Hunter, you're an artist of Hollisteiner's English. <laughs> if you want to check it, please do so via the disc or the menu. Also, if you wish to compare with others, make use of the scales. As long as you know their ID, you can compare with whoever you like. You can also compare with someone at random. You will have a day. Yeah, you will have a another day with me. Again, Neku, you always have another day with me. I'll keep streaming, right? Play once more and you should know it in full. Let me see. Let me see. Compare. Compare with others. Oh, I don't know the codes of the others. Personality. Oh, this adventurer. I like this. I like this one. I like this as a hidden personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hostile. <laughs> okay, let's do one more time. Let's do one more time. Uh, Mike, so you're playing the game again? That's to be expected of you. You seem to understand well. Perhaps you'll uncover a most distant personality of yours. Yes, let's do it. Okay, master plan. Go and get the 999 coins. Then buy the gift. Maybe do some fishing. And then unlock the secrets of the casino. This time, let it please work. I have to make this succeed. There's no time. We're gonna dig first. We're gonna dig for scraps. We're gonna make a lot of money with the scraps. Then we're gonna go straight to the end of the coast. And then we good, we good. What would result in her life not expiring? A normal human should Is this the same conversation? The result doesn't change. Why can't she keep the promise to reunite in a hundred years? This is a different this is a different um thing. Oh so what's happening is we're undergoing this whole like simulation over and over and we're getting different types of personalities. But the personalities all the personalities that we get result in me freaking destroying the sheep and thus we can't reunite with the doctor in a hundred years so that's the promise we need we want to reunite in a hundred but what does that mean like the doctor will come alive again please i'm begging you me me the doctor's talking to me I've made it so you can view the personality deciding rules. Use them if you must, just make her human-like. Please. Wait. How? How? I mean, I'm an anime man. Right? How do I say what is human and not? I guess I'm a human. I'm a human, a human anime. I'm a human anime. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is We're gonna dig <laughs> Make her feel more human, let's dig Yo, 
Yeah, we need money. We need money to... We need money to be able to... Find out the secrets in the casino. That's human-like, right? Oh, there's no more. I don't think there's any more. Oh, there's more. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Would you do? Would you, would I participate in a penpansu? Heck yeah! I have nothing to hide. What if I do a tempansu, then suddenly uh, we need to show the tempansu, then I just show nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. That's my master plan for tempansu. <laughs> if we do that, if we do the tempansu batsu, I just show nothing. That's a pansu. Yes. Octavio, let's promise. Should I fulfill the promise? Yeah, yeah. Of course! I couldn't forget it. <laughs> of course, we didn't what she said that day. It was after someone came to the lab, I believe. It's not Tempats, it's under armies! <laughs> not in front of the puppets! I mean, it's just a picture! Right? It's just a picture. Find Pansu with eight holes. <laughs> Doctor, I swear it. I swear I won't let that happen. I can't give you orders, but I can't make promises. Octavio, let's promise. Whatever happens, we'll be happy together. After a hundred years. Is that what's going on? Ben Ten Pantsu. Octavi Pantsu. We need something more outrageous than Ganchan's. Oh, I did see that. <laughs> Ah, the elephant pantsu. How can we go even higher? Wait, wait, wait. I need to see first this, right? A scrap. Let me go here. Yeah, pantsu like underwear, I guess. Can we get much higher? Yeah. I feel like when she when I trigger this Uh let's let's do who are you this time. Who are you? No one needs to know about me. All that matters is that I know about you. As such I ask your assistance. We need to find the sheep this time. Please touch some sheep and come back. Sheep other than those here. I believe there should be three or so out there. If you find them I'll give you coins. Alright. All right, let's go touch sheep. We know there are two sheep so far. We haven't found the third sheep. I'm excited to see the Octo, the Octo Bible. What the Octolect? What 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 are you guys gonna call it? Octobel. Octobel. <laughs> are these the sheep I was told to touch? Because I remember long ago there was like um Oh we don't need a key anymore. There was long ago there was a I think someone released a website which is like a big compendium of all fighting game terms. It was crazy, it was amazing. That's where I learned a lot of terms for fighting games. That I have forgotten now though. I'll die once I do the job, but hey, now where do you want the ladder? Shortcut? Let's do a shortcut this time, let's try it. What to do? I want the ladder set up to be a shortcut. Gotcha. Well then, I'll go become a ladder. There he goes. Oh, there's a sheep! There's a sheep! There's a sheep! There's a sheep! Let's go touch a sheep! 
There's a sheep at the at the gravestone. Octa violations. <laughs> the octa crimes. Let's go to the gravestone. The silly stone. <laughs> If you gave 10 commandments too, so it's part of it, like every puppet must give tickets before every start of the stream. Oh! Ooh! I'm gonna think of the 10 commandments of the Church of O. It'll be, it'll be a gradual process, you know, I need enlightenment. I need to visit the Church of O more and see what kind of wisdom it shall give me. Alleluia. Omen. Touching the sheep. I touch it and they vanish. Are these the sheep I was told to touch? Where does this shortcut to? Ah, oh, perf! Perf! We're right here! Octo perfect! We're right here! Okay, let's do the thing. Let's go shoot. Shoot the stuff. Hey, Targain, thanks so much for joining the Sock Puppet Collection. We're gonna kill some aliens. Killing some aliens. Then we're gonna get the 999 money. We're gonna do reload speed this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm too pervert. Ooh. Yeah, the eight omandments. Eight, but it's just an infinity amount of commandments. Ooh. Wow, the reload speed is pretty useful, huh? Reload speed. Yes, thank you. Ooh, the reload speed is <laughs> insanely fast. Oh, Ugh. My right arm, it hurts. <laughs> the reload's been so fast! Uh. Wait. So, because we did attack up earlier, and it didn't really help us too much. It seems like reload speed is much more... Useful? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Please. 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 Ouch. It hurts. <laughs> Ooh, it hurts. Ugh. Speed down. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, those enemies are way too strong. Ah, no, no, we lost. We lost. Ah. Yes, we already know this. We already know this. You, you've been wounded. But isn't it more troublesome for you to fix me instead of just remaking me? Oh, no, 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 no. We did this. We did this. I'm hungry. Yep, 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 yep. Give me the 999 coins. Thank you. Here we go again. Here we go again. No more octakes, okay? Ah. <sighs> <sighs> 
Okay, let's talk. Oops, wait. Something fell. I wonder what's inside that alien thing. Hey, Zen, thanks so much for joining the finger puppets. Thank you, thank you. Is this relaxing? Yeah, kind of is. Uh, except for some hot takes by people in chat whenever I, whenever I get a chance to talk, right? I wonder if anyone has already made my French toast pizza. Hmm. Let's, yeah, let's not talk about food anymore. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Your hot takes. What do you guys think about... Let's see. Let's see. What can get you guys riled up the most? Warm water versus cold water. Easy enough, right? Warm water versus cold water. Cold? Cold. Cold. Warm. I remember I was at this I was at this restaurant. Um it's called Many Graces. It's called Many Graces. And they offered a choice when you when you come when you sit down they offer you a choice cold water or warm water and i was like why would you offer warm water <laughs> what the heck we live in a freaking desert why give us warm water then the person i was with they ordered warm water and I went, why would you order warm water <laughs> and okay then I tried it. I I tried it like it was a drink. Like it was a new type of drink. Let me try, let me try. Then I drank it. It was just <laughs> it was just it was just warm water. You know? However. So I was like, nah, cold water forever. Actually no. Um Room temperature water is what I drink most of the time. Yeah. Mostly because here's the thing. Here's the big downside about cold water. <laughs> First off, my refrigerator is downstairs. <laughs> it's downstairs. So it's annoying to go down to get cold water. Second, we have a we have a water dispenser here on the second floor, right? We have a water dispenser. Uh and apparently the <laughs> by having your water dispenser just keeping the water cool for a long time results in a very high electric bill. Yeah. So... I've since just turned it off. <laughs> I've had this water dispenser for like, what, two years now? And it's just off. I don't turn it on. I only turn it on when I want to heat water and the rare times that I want cold water. So... So for two years now, I've mostly been drinking uh, room temperature water, right? And room temperature water is great. It's easy on the throat. It's easy on the stomach, right? Um, but there's one thing that I finally understood now, and that's warm water. <laughs> it's literally mid. <laughs> it's warm water. I've been... I've been having warm water, hot, I guess hot to warm water more recently these days. And it's because, you know, I need, I feel like it has a nice soothing effect on the throat. Especially now that I'm in Hollow Stars and I need to stream like every day. Um, warm water feels good on the throat. So I've, I've definitely been, been converting to warm water recently. Because before, what I did was if I want something warm, I'd make coffee. But the thing about coffee is it kind of gets, it kind of, at, at some point it kind of feels right sticky. It kind of feels sticky in the throat, I guess, especially if you put milk and sugar. Even coffee on its own, it just feels weird on the throat after a while. And it definitely does have a weird effect on the voice. Although the water itself, although the coffee itself doesn't like touch the vocal cords, it just has that kind of weird effect. Yeah, sticky, I guess it's because of sugar. Because I do like sugar and milk in my coffee. Warm water equals signs of aging. How dare you? How dare you? What the heck? 
How dare you just say that in front of me? In front of, in front of my fruit salad? In, fr in front of my warm water? Who are you? What is your name? What is your name? Puppet? Lara, Lara Kate. Lara Kate. Here is what I have to say to you. Lara Kate. <laughs> Repent now! <laughs> repent! Go to the Church of O and repent! <laughs> okay? Do I need to say the teachings to you? Do I need to give you the teachings of the Church of O? Well, you shall not say those things to your puppeteer who gives you life. Who gives you animation. Right? I am 23 years old, forever 23. I will never get old. I will never die. Okay? Those are the teachings of the Church of O. Alright? I will never die. <laughs> uh, I just, I'm sorry, Lara Kate. I just wanted to use my new assets. <laughs> Uh, thank you to the people who made those assets, though. Thank you so much. Yeah, we busting out the assets. It's so good. It's so good. Um, the the sign also is really cool because they provided a PSD as well, and um, basically I can put whatever I want on the paddle, on the on the not the paddle, the sign. So it's freaking cool. Yes, I told you. I told you during my... I told you during my... Uh, a Kang Kong, right? Kang Kong. And who was the other one? The other one... I forgot the name. Pon... Pon something? Ah! I need, I need to go back to the name and put it in the... um. Fuaifa! Fuaifa, yeah! Fuaifa! Yes! I need to put the names in the description. I'll just, I'll just put them there by default. You know? Because I can't really plan when these assets are gonna come out, you know? <laughs> uh, church Yo Paddle. Oh! Here's another question. Here's another question for you guys. It's not food. It's not food. Is it Yaoi or Yaoi? Come on, guys. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Yaoi or Yaoi? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've actually I've actually always wondered what do Japanese people do Japanese even see that say that word? It's Japanese. It's yaoi, right? Right? I'm on the yaoi side. The first time I've ever heard people say yaoi was when I watched like a Sea Dog VA stream or something. And he kept saying Yaoi. And all his fans say Yaoi. I was like, am I wrong? <laughs> but yeah, but I do know Lakuta. It's not like it's not like really Japanese, right? I don't think it's like a super like Japanese, real Japanese thing that Japanese people say. Let's get this uh, fishing gear. We got a fishing gear. It's more an abbreviation. Yeah, but I but I was thinking because it's it's Japanese in origin that it should be yaoi, 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 something like that instead of shortcutted. Yao, yao. It's because of a yao, right? Because y a o, I guess in English maybe is yao, right? So if you add i to the yao, it becomes yaoi. But because it's Japanese, it's kind of like yaoi, yaoi. Like there's like there's a like there's a transition, like there's a transition in between. It's not straight up yaoi. There's, there's, there should be like a weird transition in between yaoi, yaoi. 
<laughs> but yeah, it's just BL these days. <laughs> oh boy. It, rem- it reminds me of when Square Enix. Remember uh remember Kate Sith from Final Fantasy 7? Um Square Enix posted on their Twitter that it's pronounced Kate Sith. Then everybody was like, "What? It's Ketchy." Because it's a Celtic Gaelic name, I guess, or something. Oh, this guy again? Trade coins. Trade coins. Yeah. But the developer said, Kate Sith. So, huh? for me personally, growing up, I didn't even know it was anything Celtic or Gaelic. I didn't even know what Celtic or Gaelic was until like, you know, until I was 23, year old, 23 years old. Um... Then suddenly people are like, Ketchy. And then I search it up. Oh, yeah, Ketchy. This is, I'm not sure if it was it was meant to reference like a Celtic or Gaelic thing or anything, but Ketchy. Then suddenly, a few months later, they posted on Square Enix posted again. Square Enix posted again. It said, Ketchy. <laughs> and then people were like, oh, not this again. <laughs> I'm probably mispronouncing the catch she part anyway. Because, you know, I'm from South Elysium. <laughs> but, I don't know. Oh, fish! We can fish! Either way, I'm excited to use freaking Kate Sith catch she in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yes! One okay rock? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, one okay rock is supposed to be sound like one o'clock? Oh, really? One o'clock? Instead of one okay rock? That's interesting. Wow. One o'clock. Bruh! I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Woo! Good thing I didn't go to their concert and be like, oh, one okay rock, woo! <laughs> Let's fish. It's heavy. I can't carry any more scrap. Oh, we need to sell the scrap first. God damn it. Deco 27 pronounced Deco Nina? Oh, because Ichi Ni. Holy, holy freaking moly. Is that for real? I feel sick. I feel sick now. <laughs> All this time, I've been like Deco 27. Like a... Like a normie. <laughs> 96 Neko is Kuro Neko. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop it. All this knowledge. This All this knowledge is bad for me. Kuro Neko? Deko Nina? Oh my god. What else? What else? Soul Eater 42. Shine. <gasps> That's pretty cool. I thought you weren't normie. I thought as well. Hunter, hunter. Ah, yeah, it's the hunter x hunter thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real in the fishing rod. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're gaming. We're gaming. Do I just reel in? Gave up on fishing? I thought, no, I thought it was the mechanics. Okay, let's fish. We shall fish. Signature number is 39, which is literally pronounced Miku. But it can all be said as thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh wait, there was fish already. <clears throat> what the heck? Again, 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 again. Again, 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 again. Yes, by family, yes. Come on, fish. 
Yes. No? Still no fish? What the heck? Give me the fish. Was that... There it is, scrap? Give me fish. No, 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 no. My dog scratching in the background. I got it. Scrap again? What? Yeah. Is there even fish here? Fish. Ah! Is there gonna be fish at all? Please. <gasps> mm. I don't think there's gonna be fish. Let's just... Is there gonna be fish? Who can I ask if there's gonna be fish? Um, okay, I need to touch sheep. I need to touch feet. Feet. <laughs> God damn it. I need to touch fish. On top of fish, but Tab's gonna say something out of pocket again. Like, oh, I love fish covered in. <laughs> no! What the heck? No way! I like fish. I like dried fish. I like tuyo. Tuyo is so good. Ooh. Give me to you. I don't like um, bangus. Bangus fish. What's the English for bangus? Or is that the, is that the type of fish? It's called. Milkfish. Milkfish. Yeah, the thing the thing is, it's not the fault of the milkfish. It's mostly the fault of people cooking it. It's just. It's always so dry. You know what I really liked before? It was the milkfish from Happy Bee. Back when they had milkfish. I like that. Yeah, it's never the fish's fault. It's humanity. I do... What I do like about the milkfish is the... Is the, um... Is the black part. The, is, I guess the fat? Is that the fat part? I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure about fish anatomy. I only know human anatomy. Hindi lang ata masarap magluto. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's always it's just always when I tr when I was fried bangus somewhere, it's like, uh, it's just so dry. Then I just then I just eat the the black part. Then I'm like, "Ooh, nice." Wait, I need to I need to touch sheep. <clears throat> um, increase movement speed. Let's do this. Let's do this. I guess it's the same it's the same as like um steak, right? A wagyu steak that's highly marbled, it's hard to cook dry. It's hard to have it dried, dried out because there's a lot of fat. 
I guess the same with, with uh, the milkfish, the fat part. It's always nice to eat. However, it's just the it's just the meat that I even I, I I don't know how to cook. I can't really say what people should or should not do when it comes to cooking freaking bungos. But I've it's hard to it's hard to find a nicely cooked um milkfish, or at least the people in my life don't know how to cook milkfish in a way that's not dry. <laughs> or maybe it's because I wake up a little bit later so the milkfish has been drying on the table for many hours before I even get to it <clears throat> you know I do like um, you know when they put stuff inside the fish relleno yeah that's what that's what I like I I like milkfish in all its other forms it's just the fried form is just so common. It's always so freaking dry, man. <laughs> so you roast your own? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so we got two sheep, right? Where was the other sheep? Any opinions on salmon? I love salmon. Salmon belly I love so much. Salmon belly was my very first like food that I'd say is my favorite food. Salmon belly, bro. You know those strips? What the? I'm the helper type model Kibo. Oh, here, here's gonna do it. She's gonna explode again. No need, no, ah! Accept it, okay. Why not on your back now? That's fine. It's gonna explode. Explosion! She exploded. Raw or cooked salmon? I mean, these days I heckin' love sushi and sashimi. Right? Salmon sashimi. Mmm. Yes. Where's the other sheep? Here's the question. Here's a question for you guys. Salmon with the drizzle of lemon or calamansi or just salmon itself? That's the question. With lemon? With lemon. I don't know. I have a feeling the spritzing lemon on it kind of burns it. <laughs> I don't even know if that's true. Kind of burns it. Doesn't does like burn as in hot burn. But maybe like the acid. The acid kind of... Makes it different a little. But either way, man. Either way. Whether salmon sashimi, either with lemon, either without lemon, with soy sauce, of course, and wasabi. Even if it's like the cheap, cheap processed wasabi, I don't care. I love it. Where the heck is the other sheep, though? I guess there's no other choice but to casino. Let's finally get to it. You mean you like me? You were the doc's favorite, weren't you? Did you go visit her grave? Yeah. Huh? Oops, sorry for the gloomy topic. I almost forgot I'm a dealer. If you want to play, just say the word. Oh, and you gotta bring 300 coins. It's no fun if you can't bet, see? Oh, uh, let's just play. Lemon's gonna be strong. Prefer color and seat. I see, I see. Yeah! Back when we went to buffets, like when it was more common for us to go to buffets, salmon sashimi, let's go! Just get, let's just get all the salmon sashimi to begin with. <laughs> but nope, I can't do that. Betting your earnings is the whole point. You collect it quit, don't worry. Just a question of how. Alright. Yo, Miss Favorite. How? I got the coins. Let's play! 
What should I do? Let's play. That's a ticket. Ooh. All right, Missy, you've brought 300 points. Now to put them all on the line. Scallop sashimi. I don't think I have. Yet. And of course, if you lose, you lose coins. What I want to try is horse sashimi. <laughs> Poor horse. But I do want to try it, though. That's what it makes it a competition, right? Now, the game we're playing is high-low. Just predict if the next number will be higher or lower. Yeah, horse sashimi, yes! <laughs> Have you not seen? In Japan, there's horse sashimi. I saw- I think I saw horse sashimi and beef- beef sashimi from a video. Cow, I guess beef sashimi. There is! Yeah! I, sw I swear! See, KGO tried it already. Beef tartare is a thing as well, yeah. Beef sashimi is amazing. The number can be from 1 to 99. We'll play 7 rounds total. Each round is plus 10 coins. Lose once and it's over. Zero coins. Of course, you can also quit in the middle. Now let's get started. Alright. See? I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. <laughs> Nah, of course not. Of course not. Curtain number is 94. Alright then, let's tally up the coins. You've lost energy, so careful what you do. What? I won! No, no, no. Oh. Ah! Mmm. I always get the bell and the replay. See? See? Damn it. Wow! Wow! Eh. Hmm. Oh, almost! I don't even know what that is. It's kind of sus. You know what? I'm a responsible gambler. I'm a responsible gambler. I'm I'm a responsible gambler. I'm I'm gonna find the sheep first. Okay? I need to find the sheep. Where the heck was that sheep? And also this fish. I'm proud, see? See? That's personality right there. Oh, is a sheep inside the freaking spaceship? Spaceship. Oh, it's open again. There's nothing inside. It's open again. 
So let's go to the starting area. It might be there. 91% gamblers quit before they hit. Yeah, that's why everybody that quits when they start. If you start, you need to end it. You need to just give it, give it your all. Unless you just lose. How will you win if you quit? You know? Average gotcha enjoyer mantra. <laughs> I can't find the I can't find the friggin' sheep. It should be around here. I'm guessing. Last action? No no, it's gonna give me a 50% thing. Don't worry, don't worry. It's gonna give me a 50% minus 50%. I think? I hope? Oh, let's get this- let's get this correctly now. Let's get the prey thing at least correctly. Right? Let's get it correctly. Let's donate five coins. We have a bunch. We need to share our blessings. Two bows, two claps, one bow. Two bows, two claps, one- Boop. 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 We did it. Did it do anything? It didn't do anything. Should I be doing something with that? Let's pray again. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I just want to see. Oh, I didn't give my offering. God damn it. So we give the offering first. There. No? Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Maybe it's because, you know, it's just, a, it's just a prayer. You just pray and hope for the best. <laughs> right? It's not like suddenly... <laughs> Puppeteer sama. Oh, I know what my last action will be. Let's kill it. Doctor said to kill it, therefore we'll kill it, okay? Let's kill it. I'll be killing you. Were, were. Oh, nice! We got a battle! Crow drone. I won't let you meddle with the doctor's plan! Were, were. We got a battle for our troubles, which is great. Oh, we're gonna win. Easy peasy. Five damage per attack? Ugh. Ew. Hakitos! Cover! Your eyes! Why is your attack suddenly 30? Oh crap! Will his, will his next attack suddenly be... Shit, crap! Um... Did he hit for 20 before the 30? Let's guard. Just one. Five, ten, fifteen, thirty. It doubles. He's gonna do a sixty. Let's do one more attack. Oh, he does a five again. Oh, five, five. Five? Ten? Heal. Heal. Will you really use this? Uh... Sure, I guess. Yeah? Of 
cool. We win! We win! Ha! I'm sorry, Hakitos. The puppets win. This time. Managed to beat it. I'll take its remains of scrap. Ah. I don't have a 50% reset? I don't? Um, uh, Octopussy, would you consider this last playthrough human-like? <laughs> what did I do on my last playthrough? I dug a lot. Then I sold my scrap. Then I went to the very end of the coastline to get 999 coins. Then I went back, touched a bunch of sheep. Then I gambled some money. I won though. I won. I won. Then I lost some money. Then I killed the crow. <laughs> Does that sound like a human? Yeah, that's human, right? Yeah? Yeah? Very human. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I feel good about this. Very human. Mmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh no, did I get the bad ending? <laughs> did I get the bad ending? The design is very human. <laughs> Oog. What was I? That's right, the doctor. Did control mode terminate? Why in the world? Oh, damn it. Not much energy left. There are still things I have to do. I must keep my promise to the doctor. I'll keep my promise to the doctor. There's no time. I have to take out the sheep. Now we're gonna kill all the sheep again. Don't! Don't! Stop it! Ugh. What are you planning to do to the sheep? I'm going to destroy them. That is a difficult thing for me to allow. It's to keep my promise to the doctor. Please let me do it. Whatever your reasons, I have my own mission. The mission of protecting these sheep. As such, if you destroy them, I will destroy you. It seems I have to. Rouse attack boost mod. Search. Let's do it. Search. A hoof, maybe? I can use this to increase my attack. Boost attack power. Attack. Boom! Foolish, you can't beat me! Oh no! Attack! Boom! Foolish, you can't beat me! Oh, this is a close fight! Attack! No, I am gonna die. No, I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! Ugh, 12 damage. This next attack is your end, Inori. What was that squelch? There was a squelch in that attack. I did it. I beat her. It can't be, I... Why? Why, 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 why? Now, at last, the doctor's promise. I'm at the limits of my energy. Please hold on, I'm coming. I'll be there soon. Doctor. Traveler. To become closer to human. That is my vision, mission as a doctor's creation. Which is why 
Even now, even in this final moment, even for my last choice, I'm wondering what a human would do. I feel like I finally know the answer now. I will continue. Continue to be here, just like us. Game clear. Hmm. So we got Traveler this time. And the conclusion she reached was that, yeah, she just continues to become human. Try and become human. Hey, well done clearing the game. I was able to collect some new data. Though this experiment still ended in failure, I want to let her keep living. Do machines lack that mindset? The moment their warden's gone, a defect. No, sorry. My selfish circumstances are no concern of yours. You're indulging my experiments in this ending world. Rather than complain, I should thank your cooperation. Thank you. I think a bit better of humans now. What? Now then, let's try exporting your personality from the log, shall we? The log shows what percent of subjects did the same act. You should look through it if you're interested. Well then, I'll excuse myself. Thank you and have a good ending. Here we go again with the log! Confirm 7 defense upgrade. Quit after digging up five times? What? Talk to someone? Final action? Ooh, even that? Exited slots with 50 spins. Let's go! Challenge me right with 500 plus coins? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's gonna happen? Didn't ring bell once? Traveler. When in Rome, do as Romans do. A flexible sort who does as others do and also tries to approach things not tried before. Mm, that's cool. Right? Like my food. Travelers like change and are enthused about living flexibly. You offer a new... This is... I think this is... Ties in with the adventurous thing. Ties in with the adventurous thing from, from before. Right? Uh, I do like new experiences that are safe, new ideas and choices, and cope with any changes. Yes, I'm okay with changes. You might tend not to feel stressed by change. Yes, or avoid having the same meal too. Yes, you can give things up part way. Yes, and adopt your environment. That flexibility lets you thrive in any circumstance. This is, this is great. I like it. I like it. What about this additional planner? Oh, <laughs> planner again. I got the planner again. This is... It's the same. Yeah, I, I literally planned this game. I was like, 99 coins. We dig. We go We go find sheep. We go to the gambler. Then I guess we kill the crow at the end. Adventure. Oh, this is all the same. Wow. Okay, cool then. How do I get these others? Oh! Why? Why do you... Uh. Hey! Oh! Uh, baby? What is going on? Huh? Oh, are these all like all the personalities? Why does it come to the same conclusion as many times as it repeats? No matter what human personality you're made to reflect, 
whatever personality is simulated, it's the same outcome. No matter what you... You destroy the sheep embedded with my DNA. And after it's all over, you fail to wind your key and die. Oh. Why is it? Why? Utsua. Whatever happens, we'll be happy together. Didn't we promise that? Without the sheep, I can't be regenerated, you see. Regenerated? Why won't you regenerate me 100 years later as planned? Ah. Oh. So the doctor is like, the doctor is gonna die. Right? And she's using Utsuwa to like get the sheep DNA or something like that. So that after a hundred years, she can be regenerated and they can be together again. But Utsuwa is always coming to the conclusion that she has to kill the keep killing the sheep. And just keep continuing on. Why destroy the sheep? Why? Eh, I'm awake. Shouldn't you be asking me that directly? You're awake? I did it. To fulfill our promise. Whatever my personality... I am myself. Even if I think differently, or arrive there differently, my feelings won't change. Th that can't be. One more time, one more. Why? One more. One more. I came to overcome my failure. Aw. Why? Why? There's no more time. Doctor. Please. Give up. I can't stop the plan now. All humanity will perish. Myself included. Nano machines will erode humans' bodies. Oh, nanomachines. Oh, did they do this to themselves? With the nanomachines? It'll only be safe 100 years later. When the nanomachines break down. No vaccine's been made. I'll die myself very soon. Why would you? If it meant giving you up to someone. If it meant you being taken from me. I'd rather everyone died alongside me. I hated humans from the start, myself included, so. In a hundred years, if I can meet you as a new me, I'm fine with that. That's what I thought coming to this point. And yet, at the very end, you. So I tried to change your personality, but it was futile. Doctor, it seems my design was even more perfect than I thought. Please, doomed Yuri. Just like a human, you won't listen to me at all. <laughs> Doctor! Look at me! Look at me! Look at her cute, look at her face, so cute. Look at the real me! As my own person! You're the one who treats me most like a human! Not as a temporary me! Not as a thing you made! I have a heart too! See puppets? You have a heart too! I'm not just a vessel! 
cling to hope. I've even learned to make a prayer for the... <gasps> I did pray. A prayer for the future. And I even know loneliness, don't I? Being left behind for a hundred years. Then living with a newly born... Di oh! Oh! What well, pa parallelism? Rather than the real one? A doctor who doesn't know me? That would surely only feel lonely. When you refuse to rebuild a new me, when you have insisted upon my old body, I learned about humanity from you. But, but, your personality should... To me, personality is just the result of the preceding course. I said that, right? I said, I said that in the stream somewhere. Can you really? Does personality really like, what did I say earlier? Um. Something. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> something like personality, does it affect the things that happen? Or is the things that happen affect your personality? Something like that. That precious course we've traveled up to now. You're just trying to look at the result of it. And even if that result alone should change, there's no undermining the course I built with you, Doctor! Such a long, 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 long course we've traveled together. Surely you must know that, Doctor. Obviously. Of course I know that! I too know what feelings led me to, to do this. Now what's a doctor's personality? And for that exact reason, can I just give up here? If I give up, will I be happy? I mean, there's a way. If there's no point in changing the result, I'll erase the course, what? You mean, Utsua. You can just erase your memories of me. Oh boy, wait. Nah. That's a, that's a whole different kind of worms, wait. <laughs> Wait. Why? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. This is like, um, what is that movie? Sunless, endless sunshine of the sunless mind. Something like that. What was that? What was the title? Oh, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Yes. Eternal sunshine of a spotless mind. Damn. You know what? In some way, the doctor is also kind of... It feels bad because the doctor is also thinking of Utsuwa, like, because she's gonna die and... She's gonna, like, suffer the loss of the doctor forever. That's all it'll take. Just as simple as that. Everything will work out. When this plan succeeds, it'll be a first meeting for us both. Yeah. No. Then what's the point? It's not you anymore. But that can't... Then what was all this for? There's no more time. Doctor, please. Doctor! No! 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 Now here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. If you erase her memories and the doctor gets regenerated like 100 years later, and Utsuwa is a new person. Isn't there also something to be said of these two new people having their own lives? Right? It won't be, it won't be the same, but whoever their new selves are, they will have the chance to live like their own beautiful long life together. And this is also where 
their story ends. This is also where Utsua and the doctor's story ends. Like, like real life, right? People die. Um, yeah, it'll be a different story by the cost of the current story they have. Yes. Whereas the other option is the doctor will just die and Utsua will just do her thing forever. But also, Utsua, Utsua, the one we've been controlling, is like, Doctor, don't, no. Bruh, what's the choice? Yeah, they can be entirely new people. Who's to say that these guys are more important than those new people that are going to meet in the future? Uh, um... Bro. We just we just became more attached to these characters. That's why it's the same thing with the it's the same thing with the the big golem guy and the little ro robot guys in the beginning. Right? What if you just take away that choice? Just take away that choice and life will just go its course. No. Okay, but what would you choose if you were Utsua? Uh. I think I would not erase if it was me. I think I'm a little bit more selfish. It, if I was in Utsuwa's shoes, I wouldn't be able to see the situation from the eagle eye, the eagle eye point of view. That's just, you know, all altruistic and just, you know, all like, okay, they're going to have their own lives in the future and I'm not part of that. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather just feel the pain forever. You know? And then maybe break do rope. Does Utua will Utua break down in the future? <sighs> I don't know. I'm not going to erase. This is my choice. <sighs> but it's good. <sighs> Bro, what the heck did I do? What did I do? <sighs> sure enough, I... Aww... I can't do it. Doctor. Erasing the memories of me? Making those happy days with you never have happened? There's no way I can do it. It's pathetic, but... Even if it's only for a little longer, I want to talk to you. 
I want to play with you. I want to hold hands with you. I feel the same way. We only have a little time left, so... Until the end. I'll be with you until the end. Right. We're together. Oh. What is this music? What the heck is this uh, tear s music? Oh, that was so nice. That was so nice, though. Oh, we got um the two characters. If you're not there at my side. Cute, cute. Let's be together, you and I, and may we never have to part again. Oh, are these their last moments or something? Or are this, these are just their memories? Oh, What's irreplaceable to me if I can't even protect that? Oh. Doomed Yuri. <laughs> oh, that was nice. That was so nice. But so sad as well. But also, I think that might have been if we're talking about human, right? That's just That's freaking human. What is this? Ah. Oh, that was the future. That was the hundred years in the future. And she has a new friend. It's the doctor. But it's not the doctor. Maybe. Um... Or they found a way. Could it be? Could it be they found a way in the end? <gasps> oh, I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. <laughs> Um, something tells me that that's just, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, a hundred years is a long time. Maybe something happened, right? Could be, could be, who knows? But I feel like the choice we made, I think that was, that is definitely what, that's definitely the choice that I will make when the time comes. Yes. Reincarnation, slow burn, 200k words, friends to strangers to friends to lovers, angst, hurt, comfort, drama, psychological coming of age. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what you said, everything you said, I love it. You saw it through to the end. I suppose you were able to truly understand who you are. I too have finally succeeded in fulfilling my duty. If you want to play the game, come here whenever you like. I'll be waiting. 
What is this guy's deal? Personality. There we go. Adventurer and the least one is runner. <laughs> runner. The sickly Victorian child. <laughs> is not a runner. Okay. An active type who can achieve goals quickly and places importance on results. True. True. I'm not this. Um, runners are led to take the shortest route in terms of goals and methods as if soaring on great wings. Even if offered a tempting diversion, you can, you can beat the allure and prioritize getting closer to your goal. Another notable quality is taking efficient action. You're able to handle tasks swiftly and produce results in short order. Okay, that talent can something. <laughs> Are you telling me I played the game for too long? Are you playing? Are you saying I made decisions for way too long? And that's why I'm not a runner? How dare you? <laughs> Are you saying I, would, I took way too many breaks? I was talking to the Octoposse. Okay. What the heck? I just think of things. I just think way too much about things, okay? I think way too much. <laughs> too many optics. Slow Tavio for the win. Yeah, I, I enabled the option where, yeah, I'm streaming. You're too slow. Gotta go fast. Ah see the list again we got a lot but i guess the main ones is philosopher i'm a philosopher i'm a planner i'm a clergy i'm an adventurer and i'm a, not a runner okay yeah so i'm still taking too long even with that option so thank you game for telling me the game is like oh you you got to this uh, after six hours of, of game time? <laughs> you're so slow. You got the same three? Huh. That's why you're here. That's why you're a puppet. That's why you're in the Octoposse. That's why you're in the stream. Uh, why do you diss me this way, game? Why you diss me? Why you dissing me? And look, all my personalities... I'm, I'm really not daring. I'm really not the daring type. This is perfect. There's no daring in me. Oh. Ooh. I'm more about passion. And judgment. Methods and morals are the same. I'm really not daring. And that's perfect for an idol. I'm say so. I am very say so. You can copy the ID? Copy to clipboard. I can post it here. I shall post it here. Right to no. There. I hate that I can't pin it. I can't pin it. What the heck is going on here? I can't pin it, but it's there. All right. Man, that was fun. I like the game. I like the lore in the game as well. I was not expecting... I went into this game expecting just literally a personality test game. Like we just... A personality test game with like a small RPG thing going on. But I didn't know that... It'll have its own little story and its own reasoning for why you are getting your personalities at all, which is great, honestly. Yeah. Um, so there's like a context to you finding your personality. So it's not just, it's not just us going on a website, MBTI and coming up with, you know, answering questions and coming up with the result. Um, it's, there's something more for us, you know, for us, people like us who like stories and lore and, you know, a game, a complete game. So I, I really like it. I really like it. I wish there was more. 
I wish there was... I wish I could have seen everything. Right? I mean, I could go ahead and just play that game more and just see all the other stuff. Like, is there really gonna be a fish? Is there... What is... Where the, what the, the sheep do? Or something? But I think... I think just this... Just getting up to this point where you get up to the hidden personality. So, I mean, the least distant... The most distant personality and stuff. I think it's just... Um, it's just how it is you know you made the choices you've made everything from and the results of it I feel like I just have to accept like we, I didn't see the sheep I didn't see what happened with the sheep or stuff I didn't see the fish I didn't get to see who the gift goes to I didn't get to use the shoes yeah, like in real life, yeah, because, you know, when you do something, you sacrifice you doing something else. And, um, I can just Google the rest. I can literally just do whatever. I can just play it again or just do Google the rest and stuff. So, but I guess officially, for me, this is where the game ends for me. Everything else is non-canon, you know, something like that. Right. There's so much to this game, I'm surprised. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So that's why I, I was watching, I was watching Axel play this game. Uh, the, my first, my first exposure to this game was with Axel, right? When he played it, then I was able to join at the very end when he was looking at the personalities and stuff and assigning personalities to like Tempest and uh, Armis and stuff. And I was, I was so, I was so interested, enamored, I guess, by how. How um, I guess passionate he was not really passionate, but how highly he talked about the game. He was just looking at the personalities. I I I could just feel, I could just feel the. I don't know the, how much he likes the game through his voice, when he was, when he was looking through all the personalities and just saying how he loved the game, the music, and everything. Right. If you watch that le the last part of the stream, you can you can just feel it. You can just feel. It was like, oh, this is such a nice game. I love it so much. And I was just going through the personalities and reading them. And I was like, damn. Okay, I need to play this. I need to play this. Yeah. It was so nice to see. Also, because I know Axel is like, oh yeah, bro. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So when I saw him, just really invested. Uh, in this game and the end stuff like oh oh ooh ooh yes it's so cool I need to play this so yeah <laughs> thank you Axel Senpai for playing this game so I was able to see it then I was play able to play it some uh, play myself but thank you also Octopussy thank you for joining me but that is going to be it for this stream. Let me see who we can raid. Let's see who we can raid. I do want someone that I can actually raid though instead of uh instead of a manual raid like Aurora and Senpai yesterday. I mean a few days ago. Uh Rio is streaming. Rio is streaming. You guys should play this too. I'll play this too then check what your personalities are. I think the game is pretty cheap. It was pretty cheap. I think I got it for like what four dollars. Um, I'm surprised. Such a nice game. Also, the graphics in this game are like the pixel art, top notch. I like how there's a specific style to it. The more yellow orange style. It's so nice. Oh, Rio Senpai. Okay, let's raid. Let's raid into the Rio Senpai. All right, guys. Please um, join the raid for Rio to Rio Senpai. Say Rio Senpai is amazing. You're great, and, and that uh, Octavio sent you. Please don't say Octopotty, okay? Don't say Octopotty, okay? I'd rather you say Octoparty. Let's Octoparty, woo! <laughs> okay? No, not Octopotty. Now we just we just do that to Gerard. All right? 
Octopati is only for Gerard. All right. <laughs> okay, let's take a picture again. Again, Atutavio! Atutavio! Thank you guys so much. Atutavio, Atutavio! There it is, Atutavio! Thank you guys so much for joining me. And let's see each other again and again. Until infinity. Good. Bye. Just kidding, let me control you! <laughs> let me control you! Uh. Yeah.